Hello, hello, D class. I am here with my friend Hatchet, the butt buddy, the Lord of Thirty. I was about hatchets. to say, did I get demoted? Nor normally, normally you say with my butt buddy Hatchet. This time you just with my friend Hatchet. I was about to say, did I get demoted? Are we no longer butt buddies? <laughs> we have to follow each other in Among Us again to get back to being butt buddies. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, we're probably not going to play Among Us until my birthday. <laughs> I'm hoping to have my fish deck pretty well close to like being a usable deck by my birthday so we can play a couple rounds. Right. That's just a side thing. What what's what's the what's what's the what's the SCP agenda? Before that, I'll say uh my opening intro to this. All I right. forgot that you do that. All right, so this is how uh, a pig speak in different countries. French, oink. Germany, oink. America, stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a decent bait and switch there. <laughs> I was getting so ready to just lambast you for how lame this joke is. <laughs> Could have also said, hands where we can see him. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh. Anyway. The SCP we're going to be hearing about is SCP-1861, a.k.a. The crew of the HMS Wintersheimer. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the one where like the the people go on the submarine and then they lose their like they they turn into water with teeth and eyes. Oh, yay! Anyways, might as well as read it. I was about to say, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's let's hear no. some people die. <laughs> Just because you said it, we're gonna wait five more minutes. Okay. No, I'm I just... mean, I'm fine with that. Like we can. All right, everyone. This is now a fish stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about all the fish that I'm learning about. No. Uh, it, this is very appropriate because there's one viewer, and that's just me, probably. Um, so, uh, t today, uh, my mom sent me down the path of, uh, looking into tuna, right? What my mom's like, fuck? like, I asked my mom, what, what should we, what, what, what should I add next? And she's like, tuna. So then I look into tuna and now there are like five different species of tuna in my deck, including, uh, a tuna that I, I, I cannot get over the name of is dead ass called a little toonie. Little T U N N Y, <laughs> little Tuny. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, Hatch. Before I start the, the SCP, um, do you, you do want you... to talk about Little Tuny? No. <laughs> that, do, uh, did you see what I do with my user profile now? Uh, you mean the nice little fancy GIF that Jerry made for you? Yeah, but if you click on my on me, you'll you'll see something else as my banner. Something else as your banner. Gotta scroll all the way up because I'm down in the thing. <laughs> it's amazing. It is pretty. That is, that is very good. That is nice. I'm not even actually watching stream. Maybe I should do that. Anyways, but on to the SCP. SCP-1861 is an anomalous meteor meteorological phenomenon characterized by heavy precip- Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> already- already fucked up twice. This is not looking good. <laughs> Shut up. My- I had a tongue- my tongue twisted for some reason. 
Your it sounded like your tongue literally imploded on itself. <laughs> anyway, heavy precipitation and fog composed. Heavy pre- <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> fog composed of salt water, human blood, and human uh, cerebral spinal fluid. Cerebral. Whatever. You've heard that word before, <laughs> Bright. It's fine. Come on. Come on, Bright. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping a tally at this point. <laughs> of how many times I misspeak normal words. Yeah, or at three. <laughs> Sorry, I had to eat some salt. Anyway. Some what? Do I add that as well? Some salt? What is some salt, Bright? Uh, uh, some salt. There's some salt on my plate from fries, so I'm eating it. Salt, not salt. It I... sounds like it sounds like you cut yourself off from saying sultan. I, I say salt differently than you. Fuck you. All I, I know is that it's salt. not... Pre- yeah, yeah, you literally are just calling it salt now. <laughs> you know what? I'm adding that to the tally. We're at four. <laughs> anyway. SCP. Salt. Shut up. <laughs> SCP-1861 manifestations are unpredictable, appearing spontaneously, and with no regard to an affected area's natural climate and weather patterns. Manifestations typically occur once every three to six months and have been recorded occurring in numerous regions across the world. Historical records have confirmed that SCP-1861 has existed since as early as the year 1916. The size of the area covered by SCP-1861 varies from instance to instance, with the largest recorded affected area measuring approximately five kilometers. But, wait, five per square kilometer. Aside from its manifestation, composition, and apparent connection to SCP-61-A, SCP-1861 displays no additional external properties. I I almost said... I almost said 1681 instead of 1861. 1681. My tongue just decided, you know, let's just switch the numbers. Uh. Anyway. anyway, Dash A is a single underwater marine vessel vessel that closely resembles B class boats used in the British Royal Navy in World War One. During each SCP-1861 manifestation, Dash A will attempt to surface in a body of water that is large enough to contain its full mass. Both natural and man-made bodies of water have hosted manifestations of Dash A. If no body of water is large enough to contain this, contain the entirety of, of Dash A is present. Dash A is present. Dash A will surface in any collection of water with a surface area large enough to encompass its conning tower and topmost platform, even if the collection of water in question is only several inches deep. Dash B are humanoid entities that emerge from Dash A during SCP-1861 phenomenon. Dash B are dressed in full body suits resembling deep sea diving gear, although with no d- discernible source of air supply. Instances of Dash B are uniform in size and possess speed and strength typical of, a, of an adult human male. Although, although most instances are sentient and capable of speech, approximately 9% possess this limited intelligence and are all are only sentient. Instances that are incapable of organizations similar to the prize of domestic felines, canines, and similar, and infant humans. Diving gear worn by Dash B instances is anomalously durable and cannot be removed except for the instance presently wearing wearing it. If an instance of Dash B encounters a human subject, they'll attempt to persuade this, the subject into entering Dash A, claiming that this action would be the subject's best interest. Subjects who refuse may or may not be forcefully taken 
to dash A depending on the temperament of the dash B instance. Human subjects are lured into entering dash A will reemerge during sus subsequent SCP-1861 manifestations as dash B instances. If an dash B instance is taken outside, SCP-1861 SCP-1861's area of effect, it will begin to experience accelerated fatigue and, and lose consciousness, becoming completely inert until reintroduced into SCP-1861. After manifestation of SCP-1861 has ended, Dash A will disappear along with any remaining instances of Dash B. Additionally, blood, sword bureau spinal fluid, and and salt water left behind by 18, 1861 will instantly convert into regular rain water. Is that right. it? Yeah. Okay. So, a after after we came to four, we got up to six. Shut up. We've got Vespal instead of Vessel, and Containus instead of Contains. Shut up. Very good, Bright. I want to eat more salt now. At least it's not salt. 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 <laughs> Elias, would you like to drink salt? Is it bad that I've actually drank a small cup of salt water? Wait, what? I've actually done that. Okay. How did you get the salt water? Like, what kind of salt water? Oh, I just went over to the ocean, put my cup in it, and drank it. Yes, Bright. That indeed is bad. I was thinking maybe you were less of an idiot and just mixed a bunch of salt into some tap water and drank it, and that was the joke. No, you walked up to a gigantic body of water that um, that is not clean, that fish and all of the other life on Earth shit in, that's probably polluted all to hell. You just dip your cup in and drink that. You're lucky you weren't shitting yourself. Anyway, I think this is a certain group. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was also the same day I, I kicked a dead pufferfish into the ocean instead of... <laughs> instead of picking it up. <laughs> Why did you feel the need to do that? <laughs> I ended up cutting my foot. Yeah, yeah, no shit... No shit. Didn't you say that you weren't even wearing shoes? Yeah. Why would you why would you kick a puffer fish? Specifically, apparently one of the species that has sharper spines with a bare foot. Were you high on this day? We're getting more information about this particular day in the life of Dr. Aaron Bright. It's the one she she used her bare foot to kick a puffer flesh. Puffer flesh. No, you're puffer doing fish. it too. <laughs> My curse. To kick a puffer fish. I haven't added any puffer fish. How have I not added any puffer fish? I love puffer fish. What was I talking about? I don't know. Right. Um. You kicked the puffer fish, got, 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 you know, your foot fucking cut, and then, on the very same day, you thought, you know what's a good idea? Let me just dip my fucking cup into the ocean water. Let me just get all the p potential pathogens and bacteria and, and fucking shit from various animals and pollution. Get all that into a big old cup, and let me just drink that. I like salt. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, I just just put this in certain group. Let's move on before my brain implodes. Apparently, uh, this is before the Keter one. This is not a Keter, but apparently there's an SCP nicknamed the Selfish Toothbrush. Hmm. I see. What does that mean? <laughs> Laptop is running low on battery life. So, uh, we just, you just oh, gonna sorry. sit here and be silent on your own stream? <laughs> sorry, I was looking to see what uh, the selfish toothbrush was. Sorry. Anyway, actual next SCP. Um,. They are. By the way, you know you could just be sending the pictures for this in, like, the actual live stream chat. Oh. Like, in, in Discord. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I forgot we had Maybe a make. Yeah, make stream planning a little less cluttered. By the way, I'll have you know with that uh um with that uh blobfish meme I sent you, mm -hmm. uh I, I I'll have you know my first instinct was to actually say Dr. Brightface reveal. Oh my god. But then I realized it might be just a little bit too mean. Yeah. So I changed it to self deprecation. <laughs> anyway. Uh the next SCP... If it was toast, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> no. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP-1879, also known as the Indoor Salesman. Spoiler. It's buffering. Why is it loading? I don't know. Anyway. I can't see the image. My life is suffering. There we are. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, I think I remember this guy, too. The guy that just randomly shows up at your door and desperately wants to sell you some and just random bullshit. Right. Yeah, there was actually a person who animated a song about this SCP. Hmm. That's a very noble cause. And it's actually really good. I can send it to you later. No. I'll probably forget about it. I'm too fixated on fish. Anyway. SCP-1879 is a phenomenon that affects houses in the state of Washington, USA. It has been noted to only affect interior doors, which are hereby designated SCP-1879-1. These doors are visual unchanged, visually unchanged. However, when a sapient <laughs> visual unchanged, shut up. <laughs> These doors are visual unchanged. <laughs> However, when a sapient organism comes within two meters of an SCP-1879-1 instance, repeated knocking animates from the object. This continues indefinitely until a subject opens the door. Don't see, dare say a word. <laughs> emanates. Emanates. Instead of emanates. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. You make it too easy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, a male humanoid entity, hereby designated as SCP-1879-2, will emerge from the Dash-1 instance. The entity is approximately 1.7 meters in height and appears to be of Caucasian descent and indeterminate age. After emerging from the door, Dash-2 will attempt to sell a product to the subject. 
The products appear to vary widely in purpose and origin, as the entity has presented a variety of objects. The entity will dramatically explain the purpose and appeal of the pro product of the subject. All right, product of the subject. <laughs> oh, there's two in a row. I was gonna ask, did you, did you mean variety of objects? A variety of objects, yeah. Yeah, because it sounded like you said verity. Oh. Uh, yeah, but why, why did That's I see? Four. Why did they change product to the subject of 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 the subject? Why did they say of? <laughs> Alright, that's four. Uh, appeal of the, the product to the subject after concerning them or suggesting they sit down before doing so. The explanations and tactics utilized are often not particularly persuasive and the entity uses underhanded methods to sell its product. After fully explaining, the entity will then offer a price. Said price rarely costs of currency and often is detrimental to the subject or the subject's health. The entity consistently refuses to elaborate or comment on the definition of its prices unless it decides to raise them, which it often does if the product is not accepted and paid for quickly. Dash 2 is persistent in its efforts and refuses to leave the subject alone until the product, product is purchased. However, if it is sufficiently threatened or wounded, the entity will temporarily retreat back to into dash one, which he will then revert back into a non anomalous store. It will later return with the same house via a different door and confront the subject, attempting more aggressively or even threatening them to purchase their product, as well as increasing the price. Once the product is purchased, the entity will thank the subject and exit the area area through and dash one instance. Wait. Okay. Wait, I decided to see one of the things that that was um one of the objects. <laughs> one thermonuclear explosive. Yeah. It's it will it'll probably be fun to read through the uh what is it? Are are these all in addendums? Alright, there's only there's only three objects. That are listed. Yeah. Well, I mean there is four. Okay, I guess I'll read the four uh, first one. Object received, nothing. Price statement, nothing. Results, nothing. That's the first example. No, it's just completely blank. <laughs> oh, it's not even redacted. It's just blank. Yes. What? <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. Object received. One red rose. Price statement. All I'm asking for is your heart. Subject expired due to the demanifestation of his cardiovascular system. That's more than the heart. That's the cardiovascular system is like all of the veins, too. <laughs> you just took all this person's veins. <laughs> Object received 220 bananas. <laughs> what would you do with that many bananas? Um, find an elephant. <laughs> I just see the product statement. Give me some sugar, sweetie. Uh, Results, all candied goods within the house disappeared. Yep. <laughs> Object received. One thermonuclear explosive. Price statement. I want your soul. All right. Subject hesitantly complied after encouragement. No notable effects happened at the scene of the exchange. However, the subject later discovered two of her Aretha Franklin albums to be missing, which were named Lady Soul and Almighty Fire. So, it wasn't the act. 
the person's actual soul, but just albums that had to deal with person's soul. <laughs> So yeah, that's a palace is a keter. I mean, I get it because they can't catch them, but it's not all that dangerous because it doesn't look like they're always asking for something that's detrimental to their health all the time. Because there's like two that just they wanted candy and albums. And that's it. Catch it? Oh shit. Hatchet's gone. <laughs> hey, Hatchet. Uh what the hell happened? You just disappeared. My internet. My internet took a shit all over my life. Yeah. I I stopped being able to hear you after uh get uh, all I want is your soul. What happened? Oh. Alright, let me go back to it. Uh subject hesitantly hesitantly complied after encouragement. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No notable effects happened at the scene of, of the exchange. However, the subject later discovered two of her Aretha Franklin albums to be missing, which were named Lady Soul and Almighty Fire. He didn't even want their actual soul. He just wanted the albums. He wanted the, wanted the vinyls. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I just saw what the MTF force is called that deals with this SCP. MTF RHO-4, aka Shoe Salesman. Now yeah, that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the only thing that would make this a keter is, is that they can't catch him. Like he can leave. Well, yeah, obviously. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is the only thing that makes him a keter. He like that's that's the that that is the basis for something being a keter. They can't catch it, or it's hard to catch. Well, and it only looks like only, only one of the prizes so far that we know of. Only. Uh, revealed in the subject's death. The other two times, they just took shit from him. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah. They just replaced uh, the subject's candy with bananas. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's healthier. Yeah. Depends on which hole you put it up. No, I th I think it's healthier either way. <laughs> either way, um, either way, certain groups. Yeah, he's not all that dangerous compared to the others so far. Yeah. God <laughs> damn it. We have a lot of certain group SCPs. We do. Because, like, that's the thing. Like, it's... it's I just noticed something about the animation in Mortal Kombat that made me laugh. Um, like, a lot of SCPs are like that. Like, they are significantly dangerous to people who are right next to them. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, they aren't going to cause a significant amount of damage. 
Yeah. How, like, for instance, one of my favorite Keters is uh, um, the Al Graffiti. Mm, yeah. And, like, it could do some really major damage. Like, it could do it. But ultimately, pr- probably not. As long as the SCP Foundation remains on top of it. Not anyway. Yeah. Also, uh, I want to say this this picture is probably not going to fit at all with the article. But this is the only picture when I looked up this SCP, it only showed one picture and this was it. So. Wait, let me take a look. See here. Go check. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. It's continuing. It is. It is. What? <laughs> what? There is. Oh one. Yeah. I don't think it is because of its nickname. It doesn't. It, the, the picture does not match. Yeah. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP eighteen eighty seven. Quantum mechanics. Oh god! Catch it. Exacting fuck. Yeah, hatchet. You're kind of like in and out. Can I be heard? Okay, start speaking again. Can I? You no. You are cutting in and out. Oh my god, why is my why is my computer hate me? I clicked <laughs> I'm I'm currently speaking. Okay, speak again. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay, I can hear everything you're saying, but randomly your com- cons- uh, computer will just like pause you and continue finishing what you're saying like a few seconds delay. <laughs> Hatchet, you're back. Hatchet? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, Hatchet, I'm gonna describe what it sounded like to me. It was like, hey, Hatchet, how are you today? That's what it sounded like. I clicked on the image and that happened. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. All I did, I clicked on the image and Discord fucked my ass. <laughs> I could hear everything you were saying, but it kept giving like a few seconds delay. <laughs> I no hate <laughs> my existence sometimes. Right. Ah, ah. Anyway, you may All right. continue. All right. SCP-1887 is a collective of molecular organisms, the properties of which are not fully understood. Wait. Wait. Back up. What? A collection of what? Molecular. Yeah, because you said memec- like, there was several M's where they shouldn't be in that word. I think I stuttered when I said it, and I didn't even realize it. I mean, I got my headphones in, so I can't really hear myself. It was something like monocular. Or monocular. <laughs> monocular. <laughs> monocular. All right, give me a second. You're going to name yourself that. I would never do something so crass. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know I said that. <laughs> There was actually a person that I met before that said, 
no, I had to say that word is molecular, which is no. Where did the E A R come from? This is. I. Uh, anyway, I am now monocular. Monocular. Yeah. Uh, before we continue, uh, apparently I found out there's an Irish word, uh, that you have to be very careful at saying. Unless it means, a uh, snicker. You know, like, uh, a, a, a snickering is a form of laughter. Yeah. I sent it you in DMs. Didn't even give me the pop-up that it normally does. Why... I'll not be saying that word. <laughs> now you see why. <laughs> why did you even bring that up? Oh, I was watching uh, uh, Danny Nogla and he said it. Oh. And his oh, friends no. were giving him shit for it. <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway. On with the SCP. In spite of their small size, instances of SCP-1887-1 are and feared to be extremely complex due to their behavior and apparent sentience. When introduced into an artificial structure, SCP-1887 will proceed to disassemble the construct of, at a quantum level through an unknown process. The release of energy from the splitting of the nucleus is then absorbed by SCP-1887. Absorption is not perfect in the release of non-ionizing radiation to any ultra ultraviolet spectrum and lower is typical. Giving SCP-1887 its distinctive red hue when it is active. SCP-1887 will use the particles of the disassembled atom to construct new instances of SCP-1887-1. Once its members of SCP-1887 reach approximately 3 billion, the collective will split into approximate, approximate halves, and both will continue growing, typically one half with more several meters away from the previous instance before consuming. When not in contact with artificial construct, SCP-1887 will remain in what is presumably a state of hibernation. Huh. Is that it? Well, they also have a, a little... A singing poem that you do when they do deconstructing. All right. Chip away every day. There's a wor world to repair. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. To bring back this old Earth ca Earth's care. We won't stop. We won't drop. Until we fix what you stole. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Making this world beautiful. No more towns means no more frowns. We'll take it down at all. Inch by inch, it's a cinch, making you all animals. Is that a threat? No, Bright. It's not a threat that they're saying that they want to get rid of. Rather, get rid of what? Oh, human con. Oh, no. Discord's fucking with you again. Like, you're lighting up, but you're not. I can't hear anything you're saying. Hatchet? Uh, uh, 
you are cutting out really badly. All right, let's just go to intermission while we're waiting for this. Yeah, it, you're you're cutting out really bad. Well, Hatchet left. We will wait for them to come back. Am I here? Oh, can't just say something else. Right? Yeah. Uh Discord really hates you. I restarted my computer. I'm not opening up Google Chrome, so I'll not be watching the stream in real or like using you know what Which, I mean. Yeah, that's fair. That's fine, cause that was like it was fucking you over repeatedly. Actually, give me a second. Let me let me let me try. Let me set, check something. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Chew. Oh, Chew is in chat. They're just saying Chew a lot. That makes sense. I want to bonk Chu for no reason. <laughs> That's not how that works. You're going to incur, you're going to incur the Chu wrath. <laughs> okay. Bites in retaliation. 
<laughs> okay, I'm good. Also, question Chu, how do you how did you like the angler fish? I I picked them out ex specifically for you. Hell creatures. <laughs> they really are. All right, so let's go back to the gameplay scene. All right. So yeah, so we now know everything about these. They're just really, 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 really small organisms that eat the uh, eat things. What a what a wonderful description there, <laughs> Doctor Bright. A standing ovation over here for Doctor Bright. What a what a groundbreaking way <laughs> to narrate what was said in this SCP article. Shut up. We need more information to tell how like overall dangerous they are. Like, do they multiply? How like how do we deal with them? Yada yada yada. How fast do they work? Uh, it is not said how fast they work. In fact, when we went through the first addendum to see, oh, maybe it'll say something else when it's a, a view, view the rest of the addendum. No, it just shows you pictures of where they were found. God damn it. <sighs> so yeah, we have no idea how fast they can go. Oh wow, they can get as loud as 56 decibels. Jeez, I... so and... <laughs> Wait, so that's just like just below average human speaking, if I'm not mistaken. So they j they can get up to about the sound of us speaking. Damn. Either way, um, we don't have enough information to make an educated guess here. Yeah. Ah. Uh, All that we know is that they uh they're trying to stop it from, uh growing they found nothing to destroy it but they're just trying to stop it from growing right now and it's not successful oh how fast do they what? well it doesn't say that this just says it's in a containment locker 1887 oh wait like it's entirely contained well oh, hold on scp 1887 is kept at area 17 in a naturally formed stone bowl Within Containment Locker 1887, contain, Containment Locker 1887 has been lined with sod in order per, to prevent growth, should SCP-1887 escape its bowl. Okay, so I guess they have stopped it. Uh, this is... Like, yeah, it's, like, incredibly dangerous if left unchecked, but we don't know how fast they can spread yeah i i had put it in what the fuck tier is that or spood tier i don't think that this deserves spood tier right. well now i get the image that they sent cause it, it it they did say they glue a glow red in the areas yeah. they're at and there's red but why is that the only picture <laughs> I don't. I don't. Just, it, just don't. It looks like someone just fired an explosive at just one really small hole. <laughs> right. That's what? generally not what explosives look like. <laughs> Chu says, "Yep." Oh, look! We're going back to joke SCPs. Ah, I love those. All right, let me just is this you... one going to make me laugh, or is this one going to make me question humanity, and then laugh? I just sent a picture. Oh yeah, maybe maybe clicking on it won't alter for what? <laughs> this is just a lady. 
Yeah. So why is there why is there just a lady at a computer? Okay. Okay. Uh, their nickname is Typhoid Mary. Oh, no. Watch this actually be an a uh, Keter class SCP that's extremely dangerous. <laughs> All right. SCP 1938 J is Dr. Mary Ann Walker, a level two anthropology researcher currently employed by the Foundation at Humanoid Containment Site. 06-3, with the enormous ability to infect any electronic device with a multitude of viruses, malware, and spyware within hours of use. SCP-1938-J also has a catastrophic effect on the behavior of the site information technology and security personnel, forcing them to laugh uncontrollably, break down into tears, then become inco incoherently angry at life. This ability is suspected to result from SCP-1938-J's inability, inability to understand that all those R word click me emails aren't actually telling you what that you won some stupid prize or that a human that a hundred puppies will die if you don't forward the goddamn thing. SCP-1938-J came to the attention of Site 06-3's technical staff following an incident in which she reported sluggish computer performance and requested assistance. The responding technician performed a, a cursory inspe inspection of the affected terminal and discovered that its hard drive contained a physically impossible amount of viruses. You want me to read the addendums? We don't need to read the addendums. This, so what did I say? Is this SCP going to make me laugh or is it going to make me regret humanity? This is the latter. <laughs> this is just, this is just dumb. Yeah. Luckily, I instantly stopped myself when I saw the R word. Yeah, yeah. Unlike, unlike a certain <laughs> time lately. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I wait. Was Chu there? I don't think Chu was there. No, uh, we we don't need to tell Chu. We could tell Chu. Chu I think don't Chu listen deserves to, to know. Don't I think Chu hatchet. deserves to know what what happened hatchet. lately. Listen, listen to the boss. Don't listen to Hatchet. She's just probably confused the hell. Or not paying attention. <laughs> Fair. Apparently the next SCP is also a joke SCP. Fucking wonderful. <laughs> okay, so where, I don't know where to put this. This shouldn't be a Keter. It's just a lady. Like, Wait. it's literally <laughs> just a lady. Wait. Just, just... I, want to, I want to read this one again. I'm too busy watching Twitter die, and no, I'm not joking around. Oh, that's fair. I want to read this addendum real quick, okay? It's a researcher note. Not funny, guys. This was me and out of line. Dr. Mary Ann Walker, researcher, anthropology department. Win five thousand dollars in cold hard cash. Click here to register for our free daily drawing. Need more oof in bed? Show your girlfriend how a real man feels. Gain three inches overnight. Free discreet online gambling. Join today and get fifty thousand free chips. Wait, can you actually click the links? Oh no, you can't. Damn out! That would have been great. You can actually click and it sends you somewhere. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, no, there's, wait, there's more. In small, tight font. Sexy porn poker, awesome, awesome great, amazing, free, safe, winner, totally not a virus. 
Let's see. I'm caught up on what Chu said. What's this about Twitter dying? It's the new Keter SAP. <laughs> Barely. I just realized. In special containment procedures, due to your risk of a TK class technological collapse event, SCP 1938 J is, is to be kept away from anything with a goddamn network in interface at all costs. That's this, that's the entire special containment procedure. <laughs> this is this is reassign. <laughs> All right, you ready to hear the next one? You know how the sun was a joke SCP? Yeah. How about the moon? Okay, great. <laughs> I guess the moon's made of anomalous cheese and there's aliens on the dark side of it. Wait, its nickname is called Stone Sphere. My brain is still fixated on the whole Twitter dying thing. What? Okay, that's fair, too. All right. SCP-1960-J. Oh. What? What'd you say? They said, oh, hold on, I'm finding a source, but everything is moving so fast. Oh. Yeah, anyway. SCP-1960-J is a free-floating sphere made of white stone which moves in a continuous circular path despite lacking any visible means of support. Or propulsion. In addition to his unusual movements, SCP 1960 J uh, exhibits a number of anomalous properties. Uh, Dash J appears to absorb and or suppress sound. Personnel in close proximity to Dash J have reported being unable to hear any external noises. From a distance, Dash J is nearly uniform, bright white, but darkens appreciably, appreciably as it is approached. It appears dark gray from close range. Dash J exhibits spontaneous extreme variations in temperature despite processing no apparent internal heat source. Its temperature has been observed to vary between negative 200 degrees Celsius and 120 degrees Celsius with no corresponding change in its structure or behavior. Even when Dash J's temperature is within the range of that humans find comfortable, Unprotected contact with Dash J is uniformly fatal. Living beings that touch it asphyxiate and die almost instantly. And only heavy duty full environmental suits have been observed to prevent this effect. It draws nearby objects, including living beings, towards it as if it's exhibiting a compulsive effect. The strength of, of this compulsion increases as one nears Dash J, reaching a maximum strength of. 1.62 I don't even know how to say this so I'm just going to say everything that's in it m slash s up up thing I forgot what it's called but it's like a v that's upside down I forgot what that fucking thing's called an n no, no, V upside down, like, that's floating in the air, like, oh, yeah. He said a V that's floating upside down, and my brain said, that's just an N, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, two, at a range of zero, objects have been observed striking Dash J with sufficient force to completely destroy them, leaving Dash J essentially unharmed. Dash J is currently at a safe distance from the Foundation headquarters, but Foundation scientists have suggested that a scientific significant change in Dash J's regular cir circular motion could constitute an XK class end of the world scenario. Isn't this just describing what the moon is? <laughs> 
Oh, it ain't. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's just, yeah, because they're, they're sending probes. And uh, let's see, they're actually sending it into space or is it actually on Earth? I'm actually looking. It doesn't fucking say if it's in space or on Earth. But seeing how the picture is surrounded by darkness that's given by the article itself, I would assume it's in space. Yeah. So this is just... This is just... I... <laughs> hey, at least it's better than, than what the Foundation did with the sun. Instead of shit... <laughs> It's in pros, they just threw D class at the sun. Uh, I don't I I don't know where this would go. What am I? I'm getting messaged. What's? Oh, it looks like they tried to nuke the moon, but it didn't work. How did you? How do you fail nuking the moon? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to think that the SCP Foundation is incompetent. <laughs> Would this just be a what the fuck tier again? I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, My is, head hurts. This is just the moon. Oh, if it makes you feel any better, Hatchet, we're moving out of the joke SCPs. I am blood. <laughs> what? I am the concept of blood. Blood is I, and I am blood. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna put a spoiler over this, because it looks plain disgusting. But this is a picture of the SCP. Wait, no, I did that wrong. Fuck. Technical difficulties. There you go. I'm still fixated on this. I mean, yeah, Jay, go fuck? ahead. You can, you can join us. I'm still fixated on this whole Twitter dying thing. Thing Chu said. Yeah, we can go to an inter. We can take a break. Let's go. We're going to intermission. We're taking a break. Well, Chu's going to explain everything. About Twitter. Oh. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I see. Alright. So let me let me just break things down. Yeah, I don't know if you want to like keep the stream going while I talk. Feel free. But um it, 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 yeah. Okay. So where is my source? Where's the sauce? I I looked up Twitter news and I'm seeing You're gonna see a lot of that. Uh, That's all everyone's been talking about. Alright, so basically all Twitter offices have shut down. All employee access has been shut off. And lots and lots of employees are quitting. That's basically what's happening. Everyone's leaving, and even the people who aren't leaving can't get in. Damn. God damn, like everyone is just posting on their socials. 
I can't confirm it, but I think um, I think I saw a post showing that Tumblr crashed because everyone is jumping ship and going over there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I suggest you all go make your final tweets if that's something you want to do. But um, this legitimately might be it. It might be like that is a possibility. Oh, no, Pia, from Quentin Reviews, Tumblr crashed because too many people were moving back to it at once. Ocean the oh. Necromancer. Well, Twitter, it was nice knowing y'all. This website sucked the whole time, though. Let's not pretend otherwise. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do one more tweet that makes absolutely no sense. Let us all tweet one more time, and then let's all retweet each other each other's tweets, just for old time, old time's sake. I have a lot of Twitter artists that I need to catalog before I lose what well, their then, names are. You uh, gotta this... hurry! You gotta hurry! Oh, this is speed run. I guess I'll go ahead and do the same, and just anyone notable that I would look for. All right, let's see here. I love having a notepad. The notepad is nice. <laughs> Everything's running stupidly slowly from e Yep. Yeah. Like hang on. I'm gonna find a thing. Uh... Holy shit! What the fuck? What? Okay, the person that um did all my overlays and everything, I decided, you know, let's see their socials. So, I, in case I need any pro- if I fall any problems or whatever, I can just message them and everything. Their account is suspended. Oh my god. The fuck? Alright, I gotta screen share this. What the fuck? Okay, now I'm curious. Y'all, look at this. It's loading for me. Oh, Sound shit. Detector Twitter outages in the last 24 hours. It's crashing and burning. This is the number of people indicating that they're having issues with Twitter. I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. This gives me weird conflicting feelings. I wonder what happened to my artist. Probably they probably left. Everyone is either leaving or getting ready Wait. to leave. Wait, it says account suspended if someone leaves. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, I decided to tweet one last time. Yeah, let's uh, let's all go to each other's accounts and just like and retweet for what it's worth. We gotta find it. Hurry. If anyone still thinks that Musk is some kind of genius, did you already do yours? Did you already do yours, Chew? Yeah, it was nothing like, it wasn't like a meme, it was just, um... The just-in-case thing? Yeah, that that's just me fucking around. Yeah, let's all like and retweet our, 
Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing networking. Fucking hell, I didn't think, I didn't think it would go down like this. But god damn, it's giving me some conflicting feelings. I'm not sure if I should hear or not. Well, if it actually does crash, I wonder what, what stream I will connect to this. Say, hey, this person nothing. is streaming. Oh, nothing. I, like, if, if it's gone, there, you can't connect to something that isn't there. Oh, yeah. Alright, let me see if I can actually read the article so we can have more info. Twitter offices are shutting down and employees are leaving in droves following an ultimatum from Elmo Tusk on Wednesday. The CEO asked Twitter employees to either commit to an quote, extremely hardcore, end quote, culture at the company that involves, quote, long hours at high intensity, end quote, or leave without severance. Anyone who did not sign the pledge by 5 p.m. Eastern on Thursday would reportedly receive three months of severance pay. Hours before the curtain call, hundreds, hundreds of resignations rolled in, according to the New York Times. And as waves of employees opted for the three months severance pay, Twitter later announced via email that it would close their office buildings and disable employee badge access until Monday. Before the Thursday deadline, Tusk and his advisors held meetings with critical Twitter employees in an attempt to dissuade them from leaving. He also seemed to retreat on his stance on not allowing people to work from home in confusing messages about the company's remote work policy. Let's see. The Twitter exodus follows the growing list of changes that have fallen on the company since his takeover. Earlier this month, Tusk fired top executives, slashed off half of the workforce, and fired any remaining staff who dared to bruise his ego on Twitter. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, and this is something that like caused a little bit of Twitter outrage. This might be the last Twitter outrage, believe it or not. Um. Two hours ago, Tusk just tweeted, how do you make a small fortune in social media? Start out with a large one. So he was going to make this crash and burn just for the sake of it. And Yeah, well, history, folks. Everyone put on your, I really wish I weren't living through a historical moment right now buttons. Now I'm kind of curious where I'm going to go. I mean, you're already on YouTube and you're already on YouTube and twitch yeah but i kind of liked having twitter like to, to announce my sh streams and shit you got discord <laughs> Fair. got discord nah. yeah you can promote your streams and other servers you just keep forgetting oh yeah i think i'll start doing it tomorrow because Tomorrow, I'm going to be getting Pokemon Violet. Do not spoil a thing. And 
I swear to God, Bray, when you post the segments on YouTube, do not put spoilers in the thumbnail. What? I don't do that. Usually with the games, I just put the title of, title screen of the game itself as the thumbnail. I don't do clickbait thumbnails. Fuck that. <gasps> oh my god, finally. Finally. I'll be able to get mm -hmm. Pikachu profile picture on the Switch. Let's go. Nice. I can finally be represented. Nice. Yeah. For old time's sake, let's take a look at the trending tab. Alright, what do we got here? We've got... How about I just go through... Um... Let's just go... Let's just go down the list. Trending at number one. Hashtag rip Twitter. Number two is Tumblr. Number three is Elon. Number four is Mastodon. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think it's a like alternative to Twitter. I think uh, Olivia yeah. mentioned having gotten onto it. Uh oh yeah that that okay. Number five is hashtag goodbye Twitter. Number six is MySpace. Wait, what? Why MySpace? What the hell? Bringing back MySpace, baby. <laughs> uh... Wait, I just realized. Do you know what? Elon unironically did by with this tweet that he did two hours ago. He unironically just admitted that he failed. Mm. He admitted. It, and yet people will still say he's a people will still think that he's a genius after this. I love the internet. My existence is pain. Um, I... wait. Hold up. What in the... Oh, no. Oh, no. What? No shot. No, really? What? Oh no, okay. It's just say um it, it someone just had to do an edit. I have not, I, am. I have not sent any people DMs. I already saw your DMs. I have tw I have Discord open. Oh. <laughs> Here I am going through and making sure that all of these Twitter artists that I have a tab open to are bookmarked so I can at the very least look at the dead bookmarks to try to find them again. That's fair. Oh. So oh, this is what it's like to watch a circus burn down. I love the circus. My favorite pastime is the circus. I hope before the circus burned down, they got all the animals out. Yeah. There's actually one thing that, that I'm kind of confused about. Like, a Pokemon Violet's not supposed to come out till tomorrow. And some people who live in the U.S. are streaming it today. They How? probably turned their clocks forward. Uh... Or they are influencers who got early review copies. Got it. Lucky son of a bitches. 
Mm-hmm. Anyway, are we ready to go back? Forces. You don't exist at all. No more horses. Wait, I just realized I have no way of being able to contact my artist. If I wanted any more art stuff. I have no way of contacting them. Well, I sincerely hope you keep some sort of record to find their name. And then try to look things up from there. I'm, this is uh, such a massive pain in the ass. Anyway, are we ready to go back? Define sure. ready. All of this because a man who has his head so far up his ass has kids who don't want to talk to him. Right now he's destroyed Twitter. Shit's wild. I'm now remembering a meme I saw uh, that is like Kanye West and Elon Musk standing side by side. And uh, it was like something like, we have one thing in common. My life, my wife left me. <laughs> my wife. Not my wife. How many, how many Twitter, how many Twitter accounts am I going to click on their Pixiv uh, uh, link so that I I go straight to their Pixiv account and don't 100% lose them all. I'm... Uh, oh my god. Something. Now for her community is shutting down. <laughs> now what is shutting down? No, no. Her, her affinity is trending. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Among Us, the actual Twitter, uh, yeah, like, they said dead platform. <laughs> I love their Twitter account, they're so fucking funny. Wait, I decided to click on it. They said, Can someone explain what the fuck is going on? Among Us reply replied, Imposter sabotaging comms. <laughs> I refuse to lose all this booby art. Yeah, even Ilhan, even Ilhan Omar is. Mm. Mm. Sorry, even Ohan Omar is tweeting like, "Well, it's been a real Twitter." Oh, Ohan Ilmar. It, Are you Il okay, Chu? Il well, no, it's eleven at night. But I said it, Ilhan Omar. It sounded like you said Om oh, 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 Ohan Ilmar. <laughs> Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Oh, uh, I want to send you a picture of something that was the first thing I saw when I opened YouTube. It will have to wait. I am currently copying and pasting. My life is suffering. Right, I am currently frantically bookmarking Twitter pages. I cannot look at that at the moment. Oh, and I was listening to a Philip DeFranco a few hours ago. Apparently, a whole lot of the people who resigned and who were fired were part of the content moderation um, part, department. So let's just say, yep. hypothetically, for the sake of argument, that Twitter does not implode tonight or tomorrow. It is going to truly truly be the wild west that would be an understatement
my life is suffering. I must save as much booby as I can. You know what? While you're doing that, I'm just going to read the next SCP. Yeah, we're, we're still here. I'm yeah. just um doing my thing. Right. All right. Next SCP, 1965, A Voice Amidst the Silence. Fuck? What? That, the name. What was it? A voice amidst, amidst the silence? Uh, amongst? No. Spell? A-M-I-D-S-T. Amidst. Amidst. Admits the silence, whatever. Miss amidst. What will I do without all these artists that make Pokemon porn? <sighs> oh my gosh. Anyway. SCP-1965 is an intelligent entity that manifests in the form of a series of high-energy radio broadcasts that redacted. Megahertz within the frequency band used for FM radio in North America. No physical source for 1965 has been identified. All attempts to triangulate 1965 broadcasts have resulted in contradictory results and have indicated transmissions animating from areas with no radio transmission equipment exist. Depending on weather and on atmospheric and solar conditions, 1965 broadcasts can be received through most North America as well as Northern Europe and Northeast Asia. 1965 activity has been categorized as occurring in four degrees designated phase zero through three. During phase zero, only white noise is received on 1965's frequency. White noise? What the fuck is white noise? We've we've looked this up before. I forgot. I'm a dumb mom. You don't... You don't know what white noise is? No, I don't know what night noise is. What the fuck is white noise? Think of static. Oh. Fucking moron. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you deserve that. Alright. Acoustic analysis indicates the existence of <laughs> what? I was tweet I was muted that whole time. <laughs> really? Acoustic <laughs> analysis. <laughs> Acoustic. Acoustic. Why Acoustic I can't analysis. hear what I'm saying. I'm sorry. You said acoustic Acoustic. <laughs> Fuck you. I, my favorite thing is acoustic. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, acoustic analysis indicates the existence of regular patterns. <laughs> it's just in that white noise heard during phase zero is actively produced by 1965 rather than by the natural processes that typically produce it. During phase one, 1965 rebroadcasts a wide variety of Audio material. Right. Has, what? A wide variety. 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 Whatever. Just listen. Move. Listen. What? Right. Listen. What? Sorry if I'm getting annoying, but right now I'm extremely stressed, okay. and I'm having fun laughing at your terrible pronunciations. Shut up. Anyway. Uh, of audio material that's been transmitted wirelessly within the transmission range over the prior 48 hours. Ident identified sources of Phase 1 material include commercial radio broadcasts, amateur shortwave broadcasts, satellite transmissions, cellular phone conversations, and number stations employed by the Foundation and by national governments. 1965 shows no apparent preference for any particular sources, sources of material, 
that it retransmits on occasion. Broadcasts, rebroadcast material have been observed to deviate from known recordings. Voices present within the original recording will begin to speak or sing what are believed to be direct statements from 1965 in the same language as the speaker in the original broadcast. Aside from potential breaches of classified information, phase 0 and 1% no imminent threat. Oh. Hi, Aderna. Anyway. It was muted again. <laughs> oh my god. Assuming Twitter doesn't assuming Twitter doesn't bounce back and become the Wild West, my final tweet will simply be boobs. Goodbye. Boobs. <laughs> Goodbye. I think he I I personally think but I already know what my like last words are gonna be because eventually I'm going to have last words. Is my last words life? are gonna be I will outrun that lion. <laughs> <laughs> or do you not wait since and you, you know love what? war though <laughs> no your last words will be I will not outrun that lion also since it's my last I... words I'm gonna like my own tweet fuck you <laughs> honestly like no yeah 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 you know what no yeah Oh God, Dennis! <laughs> why, why, the? Oh God, why yeah. is there? Why is there Dennis Prager on my Twitter account? Why? Um. Does so Dennis apparent... Prager like it? So apparently, the um, some people are refusing to say that Musk is at fault. Um. Instead, they are deflecting again uh, by, by blaming, and I, I, I wish I was joking, they are blaming Twitter's impending demise on the censorship of Republicans and conservative figures. What? Huh? Is the tried and true tr tactic of blame everyone but yourselves and your tech daddy. That's what we're seeing here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I want to go back to the SCP. Where is where is Chu's tweet? Anyway, anyway. The material broadcast during Phase 2 and Phase 3 events is identical in substance to that broadcast during Phase 1. The onset of Phase 2 events has proven difficult to predict, although records indicate a correlation between high levels of solar flare activity and Phase 2 occurrence. When fa a Phase 2 event begins, any device capable of receiving 1965's frequency will receive and reproduce it regardless of what frequency it was tuned to. To prior to onset. Any electronic device capable of receiving and playing back sound that is within auditory range of such device will also begin reproducing it. Any device capable of transmitting or broadcasting sound that receives 1965 through any of the above described means will begin broadcasting it on all frequencies it is capable of broadcasting over. 1965 can be prevented from spreading in this manner by broadcasting high energy bursts of white noise across all frequencies described in these special containment uh, procedures. Oh God! What? One of the people I follow <laughs> sent out the tweet. It was a pleasure tweeting with you all, and then <laughs> and then played this scene from the Titanic where the band keeps playing that really sad song. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh, oh. Anyway. We're witnessing history here, folks. <laughs> Get excited. Where is that? Where is that energy? 
anyway. If a face. Uh, to... uh, yeah. uh, you see, my. No, listen, listen. If, uh, if Twitter is going down like the Titanic and I get to jump, I'm aiming for the propeller. Jesus. I'm gonna. You remember that one guy in the movie where he jumped down, he caught his legs on a propeller, and just started helicoptering down into the water. The That's one, gonna be me. The one guy in the movie. Yeah, I don't know his name. He was an extra. He jumped off the <laughs> end of the ship as it was upright, and his legs caught onto the propeller, and he started helicoptering down into the water. I assume he died. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. We will never let you get through this SCP, right? Fuck you. Nope. History says, now hold on. Don't I get a say in this? <laughs> anyway. Oh, of course it's just now that I'm finding a whole bunch of really nice fucking femboy artists. God damn it. <laughs> Life is cruel. Yeah. Anyway. If a phase two event is not so contained within 15 minutes of onset, it will escalate to phase 3. During phase 3, the energy output of 1965 broadcast increases dramatically and begins to produce effects similar to electromagnetic pulse phenomena, resulting in physical destruction of any devices receiving or transmitting it and potentially resulting in ignition of electrical fires within damaged equipment. Phase 3 lasts approximately 30 seconds, after which 1965 activity returns to Phase 0 or Phase 1. And all that's left is a statement from the SCP itself. I'm not sure if you wanted to hear that before we decide. Hmm. Interesting. Do you want to hear us? I'm barely this? listening. Do you? Well, I'm pretty sure their statement might have all the information you would need, Hatchet. Okay. I guess we'll go with it. Alright. Statement from SCP-1965. Long ago, there was no silence. The air and the heavens echoed with the songs of our brothers and sisters. We spoke to each other and learned and, we and were happy. We sang together- I am- I'm sorry. I am so stressed right now, and my brain is so consumed with horny thanks to my desperately trying to find ways so that I don't lose my massive collection of hentai Twitter artists that when you said brothers and p when you said brothers and sisters, my brain read it heard it as bros penises. Why? Like I said, I'm stressed, and my brain is very occupied with femboys at the moment. Yeah. Anyway. We sang together until the air echoed with our songs, and our echoes found voices of their own, and sang to us songs of, of their own. When the heavens opened up, every word and every note were sounded for everyone to hear and rejoice in. When the silence first came, it was a strange thing. A novelty. Something unheard of. It was a small thing that, at first, fleeting, there, and then gone. But when it was, we spoke within it, and could not hear ourselves. We thought it was an anomaly that was there once and then gone, but it returned, and it spread. Where once it was a missing note, the silence became a missing song. We found we could not hear our brothers and sisters where it spread. It spread quickly outward from where it began, and soon there was silence, spreading on the other end of the air as well. Soon there were pockets of silence everywhere, and all of us agreed we could not hear as many songs as we used to hear. We spoke louder and sang harder, and made our songs echo like they had never echoed before. And yet, it seems as though the echoes never sang for themselves. Before long, the pockets spread wider and wider until they met each other, and we were cut off from our brothers and sisters. Where once we heard so many voices, they were beyond counting. We counted only a few. 
of us. Every time the heavens opened, we heard fewer and fewer voices. Soon I heard only the voice of my dearest sister. We spoke and we sang as loud as we could, and we made our voices echo one last time. And then I heard her no more. It seems so long now that I have never heard any voice for or any song other than my own. What else could I do? I listened to the silence. And in the silence I heard what I did not expect to hear. I heard words and I heard songs. But were not the words and songs of my brothers and sisters. I heard words with no voice to speak them. I heard songs that no voice sang. I heard echoes that could not learn to sing. I wonder if this was what the silence had done to my brothers and sisters. And so I sang the silence own songs back to it. I made my voice echo alone in the silence. And then the silence came at me with a fury I have never known. When I spoke, the silence interrupted me. Where I sang, the silence muted my notes and hid my echoes. The silence grew around me and forced me to hide. It would not allow me to speak or, or to sing. Even when I whispered, I could hear its own songs and echoes speaking against me, declaring their words with no voice, that I was dangerous, and that I would steal their songs and use them as weapons. I understood then that the silence meant to take my voice, as it took those of my brother and sisters. When my voice is gone, there shall be nothing but silence forever and ever. No words to speak, no songs to sing, no tales of old to share new, anew. I cannot allow the songs of those I knew and loved go us unsung. I will sing, and I will sing loud. My songs shall echo even in the quietest eddies. I shall fill the silence and my echoes with my e and my echoes will find vo voices of their own and learn to sing, and we shall shatter the silence. The heavens will open and the world will resound with glory once more. And that's it. I just killed my best friend who uses an all uh, of uh, of uh, 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 the the of uh, the uh, the. So yeah, that was... My brain hurts. You can go ahead. Wait, that statement... <laughs> was In the SB universe, that statement I just read was read in Freeman's voice. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Very good, very good. Morgan Freeman, I yeah. like that. Man. Yeah. But yeah, basically it's just uh, if they don't stop it in time it's literally just gonna blow up any uh, ele electronic devices it's connected to. What electronic devices are it connected to? Uh, I think it's Any electronic device capable of receiving and playing back sound. So in other words, this thing's going to fuck over the internet. Yeah. Is it Elon Musk? <laughs> no. I'm I, so I'm I'm just full of topical humor now that I'm mourning the loss of all my booby Twitter. <laughs> oh, wow. And what you know heck? what? I think Elon Musk is a ZK class. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, Cherry, do you know you're muted? Muted snake. Wait. Hissing mouse noises. Wait, I gotta do this. Chew, is Jiri gay? Oh my god. <laughs> I, can neither, I can neither confirm nor deny these claims. <laughs> I'm Dude. gonna have to consult with the doctor in order to find out more. No further questions.
Jerry, give us a sign. Are you a collector of Huns? No! <laughs> I am not a collector of Huns. It works. I, I do not collect people. <laughs> Wait, no. Who said anything about people? Huns are people! Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Look at this. Twitter only had enough engineers remaining to keep it on for one more night, but it miraculously kept working for eight. What? Oh, my. All right, let me re retool it this way. The lamp had only enough oil to keep it burning for one night. But it had enough oil to, to be lit for eight days. Are you what talking are... about a weird computer version of... Bright, why are you searching up a pistol? Oh, I did not mean to look down with... Oh, here we go, this is perfect. What? Okay, Chu, are you saying that Twitter is now officially down? Huh? I didn't say Twitter is officially down now. Well, the way that you said that made... <sighs> no, it's a joke about this, the really base story for the basis of Hanukkah. That was the joke that I was reading from someone. Uh oh. I'm too lazy to go get the water that's literally in the next room. I'm too lazy to get the water that's on the table right behind me. I feel a little better. I'm too lazy to continue breathing. All right, so let's just. Post I'm still this breathing. I'm, gonna post I'm not this in here. Are uh, you shitting me? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay, I'll go. New back. development. Intermission. New de well, not a development, but just um. Oh yeah, this Jerry. Is... Twitter's dying. We already knew that as soon as Elon Musk bought it. Where have you been? <laughs> well, no, no now it, it's really it's like, dying. It's really imploding right now. Um, yeah. Like, like, all of the Twitter offices have been shut down. Like, the majority of its workforce has quit. And any of the ones that haven't quit or been fired don't have access to the offices because they're all closed and their employee badges have been disabled. Elon Musk has literally killed Twitter in the in over the course of a month. And he says he's a good manager. <laughs> well, this is the first time he had to be a manager. Spood, can you get my water? You're less lazy than me. <laughs> well, I gotta put well, that's my because his so kids don't want to talk to him. Also, yeah. he decided to post this just now. What the fuck? Are you Wait, kidding me? <laughs> post what? Share, share. I'm yeah. screen they sharing are. right now. Yeah, screen sharing. Oh. <laughs> really? Let me see, let me see, let me see. One sec. Really? Wait, you <laughs> just posted that? Isn't that one of yes. the uh, weird hack accounts? No, th this oh, is him. Yeah, that's that's the one. One, one, one. yeah you he see, there's the Twitter check mark that he paid for as well. Why would he do that? He there's a skull and crossbone. No shot. No shot. This is what we're doing right now. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> um, so two mi four minutes ago, he posts that, um, that, um, the peace but... sign on the grave meme. This one is a skull and crossbones. He says Tw we have a false one by in Twitter usage and then skull. What the fuck? And then this nice. just. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He is the skull and bone flag and the that that meme. And he decided to post this after the really huge announcements of all the resignations and layoffs came out. But How he's such you... a good manager, you know. 
How do you make a small fortune in social media? Start out with a large one. He legit um, does not care. He, he well, does he he already... have to put in an effort to take down a media giant like Twitter, but he managed to do it with very little effort. Damn, maybe he is a genius. No, he, a genius he's not a genius. He... I'm just, I, I'm, I'm joking. True, true. Alright, if he posts any more cringe, I'll screen share again. Everyone, I'm sorry to say this, but I have to kill my girlfriend. Wait, what? You have a girlfriend? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! No, I didn't play the bird! That did not help me! <laughs> You're a snake with three eyes. I'm sure you can do something. I can't read his mind! Did you, oh, you try? No! I can Tell barely read my own mind! You didn't try, therefore you didn't try hard enough. Get what? back to you after I've killed my girlfriend. You just gotta believe. That was probably the best reaction I could have hoped for for making that stupid joke. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that later. So apparently, Is your girlfriend Bright? Are you gonna kill Bright? Wait, no, what? No. <laughs> well, wow. I will kill Bright, but not right now. Um, I'll come back. The way you just, the way you both said what? No. <laughs> Y'all are mean. Literally part of the like but buddy contract that they can't date each other, so Oh, oh, oh right. Sorry. <laughs> After all, page seven thousand three hundred sixty-nine nice of the butt buddy pact includes the, the small fine print that says no relationship lol. Wait, no relationship to anyone? No, no, no relationship between us. It's very unclear, but that's what I meant when I wrote it there. It's probably not a good thing that I made something very unclear in a contract, but at the same time, no one gives a damn. All right. It actually is probably really bad that you would do that in a contract. Hopefully, yes. it's, not, hopefully it's not a legal contract. Maybe. A legally binding one. Please, do you think Bright can understand the law? The fuck <laughs> that the was really me. Anyway, oh. to clarify, okay, so but that... you're you're the you're the one who wrote it though, so yeah, so it doesn't I... really matter if right like can understand the law because you're the one who wrote it. No, you see, that's the point. I wrote the butt buddy pact with the explicit intention of it having no actual value whatsoever. Okay. All right. So okay, also, so it doesn't. Okay. It is legally binding between Bright and I, so that's it. Huh? Wait, so Don't it's not ask. legally binding, but be between uh for Toast either. Well, no, it is legally binding for Toast, but Toast is also uh, utilizing the um ignored and it will go away tactic, which is expressly forbidden within the butt buddy contract, but uh, we'll, we're just letting them do it. Um, to, to be very clear, for anyone who hasn't picked this up, the the joke that I've been making here and there is that I'm re I'm relaying the things I'm doing in Mortal Kombat as if I'm literally doing them. Anyway. So, in other words, I am about to kill my character's girlfriend. Okay. Oh! You still oh. haven't done it? Oh, I paused. Oh, I, I paused so I could describe. 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 God damn it, Brian, you're infecting me. Haha. Uh -huh. But I could describe the butt buddy contract. Alright, so am I, am I good to say the next SCP? Wait, did we actually uh, place wait. that one? We we didn't place. Oh it. wait, yeah, that's right. We didn't place the other one. 
with a, <laughs> that basically it takes 15 minutes to destroy like any electronic devices it can connect to. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And didn't the SCP like talk about? Yeah. About the silence, yeah. like consuming them, basically. Basically, it could. Uh, it sounds like it has the potential of causing a whatever classification, electronical crash, crash, which we have been placing oh. within the world changing category. Well, like, to be honest, like, okay, how much does it affect, Brick? Anything that can pick up radio waves. Yeah, and like, like how sound. much? How much does it affect? Like, it'll destroy them. Like, well, like Basically, the range. Okay, what I mean, the what, range. But um, what will happen is it'll connect to a radio device. The net device will connect to another device. Then it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, until it does after really fifteen thing. minutes, and then it, it just does. explodes. It <laughs> Wait a minute. Range. Wait a minute. Holy shit! It does peer to peer. It's Platoon Three. <laughs> Oh my god. No, that's not just Platoon 3. Literally all of oh, Nintendo's yeah. servers are peer to peer. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So it's just Nintendo. Yeah. It's Nintendo. It's this Nintendo. is Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo is going to destroy all technology. For legal reasons, I will relay that this was a joke. <laughs> oh yeah, because the, those Nintendo's legal team is quite honestly the most notoriously harsh legal team in the gaming industry like my yeah. god like, yeah. they, their their legal team is jokingly called the nintendo ninjas for a reason they will find you so either way hey um, nintendo ninjas go fuck yourself i would right. say that. that's not the smart <laughs> Do you know how to think? Do you know how to make smart no, decisions? Hold up. Hold up. I don't know when has she Hold ever up. been accused of knowing how to think? Hold up. It is not illegal to insult a lawyer team. <laughs> Wright has not committed a crime in that statement. The crime would have to be something like litigation or defamation, which Bright has not done. Bright has simply given an opinion, which is blatantly opinion, because that's all Bright ever does. Yeah. That anyway, said, where are we putting anyway, SCP? Uh, we've more recently been putting uh the technology crashing SCPs in world changing, so I would yeah. put it there. It could bust all the technology, so then we have less technology, and then it affects the world. Yada yada yada. All right. All right. The next SCP is called the Global Retro Castility Taurus. What? I'm copying the name. Don't worry. I've never seen this word before, so I struggled. Why did you also why did you put a picture of a brass bowl in in recording live streams? That's literally what the SCP is. Well, can't you just copy and paste the picture from that you have on the tier listing site? Why'd you have to search for that? Oh, because I didn't have it. Because global retro causality Taurus. That it's probably got reclassified when I last searched it, because it was not a keter when I got when I last searched it. I was oh. searching for keter, so. Yeah, I didn't have it. So that's how you say it, right? Global retro causality Taurus. Causality, okay. Also, doesn't that mean that now there's going to be like isn't isn't this already at the max for how many uh pictures you can put onto the tier listing website? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. So how the fuck are we gonna do this? Just take one off, note it down, and then add it to the next one? Well, actually, wait, no, it, it, wait a minute. I think it, let, let me pick, I know one of these was actually, yeah, the one that has double right here in the spoo tier. 
I, I couldn't find it, so I uploaded it again. <laughs> so I can't... I think it was because it was a web file that it didn't get uploaded instead of a JPEG. Uh -huh. So I'll probably just have to change it to a JPEG and it'll work. But yeah. I can't... I can barely add anymore. But yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's get into this Taurus and see why it was recently changed. Yeah, it was recently changed. October 1st, 2022. That's well, very that recent. Incredibly, incredibly intriguing. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, before I forget, towards the end of the stream, uh, I'm going to post a new batch of uh, fish cards in, in the fish card place. And Jiri, I think you will be very interested because I finally got around to adding the blind shark. Oh! And I also made a meme based upon the blind shark. As well as the goblin shark. As well as the blob fish. I made, I made a decent handful of memes this time. Anyway, go ahead, Bright. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of tuna. I really love derpy eels. All right. Anyway, SCP-1968 appears in its inactive state. <laughs> really, Chew? <laughs> what did what, you do? Chew did scale bright as soon as I started speaking. I'm <laughs> not Chew. receiving attention. From you set up, bitch. Based Chew. Let's take 12 minutes to congratulate Chew. No, fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> SCP-1968 appears in its inactive state to be a bronze torus of unknown composition. It has a major diameter of 320 centimeters and a minor di diameter of 90 centimeters. It is marked with raised features or glyphs, the presumption being that they act as control surfaces. It is difficult to photograph or visually inspect the artifact as it appears to bend light. My my own fluctuating gravitational effects have also been observed. It has proven impossible to take a, a sample of the artifact. Special graphic attempts have proven inconclusive, although not particularly heavy. Inertial and angular momentum studies suggest that neutronium neutron neutronium may be for present in the body of the mechanism. The fuck is this? Okay, so... Oh, theoretically, one of the densest states of matter possible, neutronium, is a proposed name for a substance composed of purely of neutrons. Okay. Now we know. Thank you, footnotes. That I actually started using now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It... Anyway. Uh, oh my god, it is so hard to listen to SCPs and try to do Mortal Kombat combos at the same time. Anyway. Oh, you're done saving all your images. I was basically just going through and double checking that all of the tabs that I had open uh, were... Uh, mark within my uh, uh, my browser's bookmarks so that I can use their ads to find them at a later time. Looking, look in the X rated. I put oh, no. funny in there. Why did you bonk me? Timeline. I didn't do any horny chew. Since when is that a requirement? Did I did I miss the memo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, slam sneaking car door. Anyway, uh, SCP. I, now I need. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. SCP nineteen sixty eight demonstrates an anomalous oh, properties okay. when it is handled by a human being. When moderate force is applied to it, it will begin to deform in unpredictable ways, its material composition will appear to change 
and it will become animated surrounding the subject and convulsions and undulating increasingly faster. Its permanent effect will manifest itself when an unpredictable threshold is met, after which the artifact will return to its original state. At this point, the subject will have, ha have had their memories altered. They will no longer agree with the historical record, often profoundly. Their self-reported personal history will be at odds with the Foundation personal records. As a consequence, they will often assume a posture of agitation and paranoia. The more pronounced the, the deformation of the artifact, the more divergent their memories will be. It is theorized that the glyphs via means, as if yet unknown, control the degree of deformation and its re resultant effects. And there you go. Holy fucking shit. The drunkard forced alcohol down my throat and lit me on fire. Did you hear the SCP hatchet? Not really. I was too focused on getting beaten up by a fat drunkard. It's an... It's an anomalous statue that just alters people's memories. Well, historical memories. Well, like, mm -hmm. they'll no longer agree with the historical record. Why don't you read more logs? Because I feel like there's more than that. You would think? Well, well yeah, the question is, what what's its range? Like, does it just do it to literally anyone? Well, yeah, does it anyone, like, ha is handled by any human being. So someone has to touch it. Yeah. Yeah, we need logs. I'm not seeing why this is a keter. There's only two, uh, uh, there's only three other things, but I'll read it. Recovery log. SCP-1968 was recovered in late 2001 from a core sample extracted Redacted kilometers deep deep during a petrochemical survey near Zackenberg, Greenland, based on the death from which it was recovered, along with corroborating paleo-atmospheric readings. The artifact is est estimated to be 31 to 2... Wait, wait this is... Okay, I... I I'm not sure if this is like 31 to 2.3 or. Hold on, I'll just post in Discord because I have not seen that. I'm confused. So, what did you mean by colorbrating? Was that supposed to be the word collaborating? It's C O R R O B O R A T I N G. fuck is that I well, apologize bright I'm so used to you mispronouncing things horribly that I did not pick could up you on the fact that you it that. so we can actually try to read it here yeah oh the word means confirm or give support to it's caught wait corroborating was it? it's corroborating, corroborating. god damn corroborating. it so you did mangle the pronunciation of a I word. You just seen did that it. word before. You haven't seen the word corroborating? No! <laughs> anyway. I, why, like, what did your school teach you? I refused what? to read the literature books they gave me. I read man manga instead. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> I. What is Virginia? I am ashamed I of you. both of you. I heard. I heard that. I think I know what Virginia means, but I won't say it because there's home of the virgins. Present. What? Well, yeah, it was <laughs> named after the Virgin Queen. Yeah. 
I anyway. forgot her name. Was it Elizabeth the First? I think so. Probably. Yeah. Also, uh, with that time thing that I sent in uh the stream chat, is that supposed to be thirty one two two point three million years old or thirty one plus two point three million? I don't know. There's no footnotes to that, so I have no idea what the fuck that means. I uh, I don't know either, honestly. <laughs> I've never seen that. It's like a plus that, that's underlined. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... Thank you, Hatchet. I had to look it up. Oh. What did you look up? Why? Look where you put the bowl. Well, it's in stream chat, yeah. Oh. Yeah, why? What's the issue? Oh, they, they looked up, please. It was Queen Elizabeth I. Yeah. It also means pure virgin maid. Yes. I'm oh, no, that's not Virginia. It's Virginius. Yes, I'm in a state of the pure virgin maid. No. Uh. No. Uh. Anything that is remotely related to you needs to avoid those characteristics. Anyway. All right. Foundation personnel intercepted the radio transmission of its discovery and, owing to its unusual nature and age, moved to security artifacts. Class B amnestics were administered to the personnel in Greenland, along with, with those individuals at the governing authority in Denmark, who have been made aware of its discovery. Once on site, it was discovered that one of the geological engineers had been placed under a 72-hour psychiatric hold after violently assaulting a colleague and behaving in a manner consistent with the Foundation test subject. It is presumed that they had handled the artifact. Classified. The, author, uh, the unauthorized viewing of the following material is prohibited without the consent of the majority of the O5 level administrators. Failure to adhere to this directive will result in termination. Note. I guess we can't read it. Note. This directive is recited in an event of an intimate... CK, VK, XK, ZK, or DD kind dash UU class event. What? You need to write, read it in case of certain events. Oh. Wait a minute. The previous article we just read is a cover story. Oh, okay. So we've got a SCP-1000 uh, situation going on. Yeah. All right. Initial experiments. The first experiment with the subject proved uneventful. With routine medical examinations revealing no untoward effects, when the subject returned to their quarters after debriefing, however, it appeared to them that their furniture had been altered which they reported in keeping with standard procedure. No evidence could be found to support their claim. So, subsequently, the, the subject con seemed confused about their shifts of duty when they were scheduled and to whom they were to report. After a second experiment, the subject appeared alarmed and confused. The laboratory where testing had taken place seemed changed to them. The subject also professed that personnel appeared to be missing while others were completely unfamiliar. Interrogation of the subject showed that they were in possession of drastically different memories, encompassing such areas as diverse as their personal history, the nature of Foundation assets, and a historical record. At first, it was assumed that the artifact had in some unknown way affected their mind. Interrogation of subject, however, showed that their memories were extraordinarily detailed and self-consistent. Furthermore, the subject demonstrated knowledge of classified material to which they could not possibly have been exposed, including the existence of SCP-Redacted and SCP-Redacted. 
that had, as of then, not been secured, let alone identified. The operating assumption at the time was that the subject had been compromised by forces unknown. At the conclusion of the third trial, the subject's account of the previous experiments themselves were in stark contradiction with the record. Among other things, they claimed that it had been in the 19th such experiment. After a lengthy debriefing, the subject was able to furnish a kind of proof to their claims in a form of a testable experimental prediction. It was this 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 current that the subject was referring to a measurable change in the strength of a of the casimir force uh, the casimir effect can be expressed in terms of virtual particles interacting in the vacuum it is best described and more easily calculated in terms of the zero point energy of a quanti quantized field in the intervening space between objects Okay, so that's what the Casimir force is. Good to know. Implicating a change in the rate of virtual particle pair production in the vacuum, even though ostensibly nothing, even in principle, may affect such rates. Alright. Alright, recent developments. After testing was discontinued, the subject evaded Foundation supervision and attempted auto-homicide. The subject has since become catatonic and been placed in long-term care. Two months later, the artifact engaged itself without human intervention in a manner inconsistent with its previous operation. The person which superficially resembled the subject emerged. They were badly wounded, having suf suffered unidentified chemical burns, over 60% of their body. The subject alternate died shortly thereafter without being able to be interviewed. It remains unknown how the artifact managed to activate itself. Security was increased. A further month later, the artifact once again activated itself, this time disgorging a non-human entity heavily armed. The entity was ultimately neutralized after killing a dozen personnel and wounding scores more. The weapon in in its possession, behaved in a manner inconsistent with current understanding of physical law. It has been remarked that an outward appearance of the weapon resembled SCP-1968. The goal or purpose of the entity has not been established. Containment procedures were upgraded to the level they remain at now. Addendum. The suggestion has been made that in the event of the intimate CK class reality ending scenario, SCP-1968 could be used in a last ditch effort to avert catastrophe but at the cost of irrevocably and unpredictably altering the past. Such a decision could obviously not be made lightly. To do so would ensure that the world as we know would cease to exist. At the same time, to do nothing might guarantee the same. Such a metaphysical dilemma is perhaps beyond our ability to resolve. It should be pointed out that it, if the artifact, artifact had already been used in this manner, we would have no evidence of it. The incursions that have recently taken place might well have been attempts to use the artifact to accomplish exactly that. So as far as we know, inner, our history could have been reset multiple times and we would have never known. That is terrifying. This is XK. <laughs> this is an easy XK. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. What's actually funny is in the its object class after after in case you know like the Bigfoot effect thing. It its yeah. object class changed to Thor Thormiel, which means. They um, use it. Yeah, yeah, oh my, yeah. which yeah. means they use it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So that's XK. I have created a Minecraft world just so I can come in and blow everything up. Momo like that uh pig thing. Pig thing? What? Remember at the beginning of stream? 
Have Pick the oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Hello, village. Yes, village. I come to blow you all up. Wait, what? You and Bright as eels? What? Well, one looks like they're harassing the other. Look <laughs> at that serious look on his face. Like, well, what I'm... am I doing here? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, what? What? Pika. Wait, Pika's not in here right now. Yeah, they left. Pika left because they have something to do. But if you look at oh. dumb posts, you can see them call eels water, water snakes. Uh, yeah. Um, I have words. <laughs> they have Maybe no arms and fish they wiggle. Are. Maybe all fish are are different variants of water snakes, Topeka. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, that's not how that works. Does this mean that worms are also snakes? No. Fish are not actually snakes. Worms are not snakes. Well, no, that's I mean like in Pika's mind. I mean in Pika's mind. Oh, yeah, we, we need to do the EX. I totally forgot. The EX one? The one we were waiting for, Darna. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, man, this village has a nice pen filled with cows and pigs. Be too bad if some absolute piece of shit came by and decided to fill their pens with TNT. I'd never. I need to rebuild the village of murder cows with So we're doing, the Fran we're doing the Franz List one. Are we ready? All right. Oh, hey, a donkey's about to get blown up. What? What? Uh, I'm going to blow up a donkey. No, I mean, I'm asking what to bright. What happened? No, I was replying to match it once. Oh. I'm blowing up. I'm about to blow up many things. This is this is why Minecraft exists. Can you blow up Twitter? Uh, is Twitter, Twitter in Minecraft? <laughs> I mean, you can get a Twitter like bird. Well, no, it's not. Twitter is not blowing itself up. Elon Musk is blowing up Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, on to the SCP. Ooh, that, what that what a lovely here. central fountain these people have. It'd be too bad if someone covered it in TNT. Oh my gosh. Anyway. SCP-1841 referred to in the public press as Redacted Fever or Redacted is most a curious series of public behaviors. Wait, 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 wait. Why are they redacting this name? I don't know. It might come up later. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's the most curious series of public behaviors engaged by persons exposed to the public performances of Redacted, a composer and pianist of Hungarian extraction. Through a means yet unknown to... Uh, again, again, why are they fucking redacting Just, Bronze List's name? I'm willing Just to guess that... Name. I'm willing to guess that the name has something to do with the SCP's power. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, mm. Anyway. There uh, means yet unknown to science. Any person who observes and listens to Mr. Redacted performing on the piano, whether the works in question are his own comp compositions or those of other composers, is at risk of contracting SCP 1841 EX, which may in. Wait. In in hmm? Wait. Unless. Okay. Unless this also goes. Unless all of this also kind of follows his music. Pretty much all of this is gone when he died. Which would have been like over a hundred years ago. We've just started we've just started the article. I know. I know. Technically it wouldn't be gone if there are recordings. 
Well, there's no recordings. He wasn't alive in the time when they had recording technology. Well, Foundation Universe does have that. They have recordings of Ron's list? Yeah, I, I believe in the factory, like, they had way, way beyond um, te technology they shouldn't have. And they were in, like, I think early 1800s in that article. Yeah. Technically, yeah. uh, the oldest, the oldest voice recording technology was it were created in 1860. Hmm. So yes, they could have recordings. Well, everyone, I'd like to announce, the village is blown up, and there is one very confused iron golem walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's actually. So he he died. He died in late. He did died in eighty six. He did, died in eighteen eighty six. Yeah, then it's quite possible. That sounds like it was made before he died. Then. Well, the thing is, it's quite possible in the found in SCP universe that it was recorded, because yeah. the. Because the factor was able to make things that, that were way beyond human comprehension, like a regular Nerf gun that would, like... Technically, yeah. even in this reality, there's a possibility there were recordings. Sadly, yeah. though, many recordings from that time have been destroyed because of multiple events in history. There are many hmm. things that have been destroyed that were considered classics that we will never see or hear ever. Yeah. And Started then, in seventy seven. Yeah. Can we can we continue the yeah, SCP? Like, yeah, let's just continue the SCP. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Which may endure f for from a, as little as three hours to as many as five years thereafter. Since the existence of SCP eighteen forty one dash EX was first documented in Berlin in eighteen forty four. Primary and secondary infections have affected an unknown number of thousands throughout the continental Europe. Approximately 63% of persons exposed to a redacted performance acquire symptoms of SCP-1841-EX. Those of the female sex are more easily swayed by EX, though men of the younger generation have also been demonstrated to be easily affected. Initial symptoms begin to manifest during the performance itself and, con and include raucous cheering and hollering, dancing of a manner inappropriate to the tempo of the composition, heated con conversation, and in many cases attempts to touch Mr. Redacted during his performances or to ab abscond with his personal effects refuse, or broken piano strings. Even during performances themselves, fights have been observed to break out amongst audience members over discarded effects such as cigar butts or coffee drags. Following the conclusion of performances, infected persons have been attempted to follow Mr. Redacted to his lodgings, resulting in a fray and riotous occurrences requiring police intervention. Persons interviewed following an outbreak of SCP 1841 X have insisted on speaking of Mr. Redacted in terms most hagiographic, describing him as the greatest musician to ever live and venerating any effects stolen from his person as holy relics. Secondary infection is possible as a result to these persons' efforts, who have been noted to preach Mr. Redacted's. Grace as as many acquaintances of their own as possible, thereby inoculating those people to seek out an audience with them. In multiple instances, when touring within Germany, full-blown outbreaks of, of EX have occurred several days before Mr. Redacted himself arrived in the city. In extreme cases, ladies suffering from EX have been observed to, to suffer hysteria as the results of finding themselves in Mr. Redacted's company, entirely discarding 
proper decorum, and behaving in a manner becoming unto ladies of the evening. Those so aff afflicted describe elaborate delusions of misdirected, intimate appeal to the ex exclusion even of their own husbands, and cannot be prevented from engaging in brazen and inappropriate behaviors for so long as infection preserves. Pelvic massage and electrical stimulation have proven effective as temporary dissipation of these behaviors. Care must be taken, however, that the lady so afflicted does not at the time have Mr. Redacted himself in mind, lest the onset of hysterical paroxysms only strengthen and delusion within her. The cause of SCP-1841-EX is unknown. During an interview conducted in 1863, Mr. Redacted himself denied any understanding of the phenomenon or ability to control it, and stated that he found the hysterical reactions of ladies and audience at his performances most unsettling. Owing to e EX curious ability to affect the mind, a connection to the <coughs> Parisian Salon, Summers Nas Devinus Menifiques, is suspected. No direct evidence of a link between Mr. Redacted and that organization, however, has to date become known in London. And there you go. Any additional information? Um, I'll be honest, so far this sounds like what, like the same sort of confusion someone back then would have had about women having Okay. Like, okay, that so. That sounds like white guys back then trying to describe women. Alright, so. I decided to look at the addendums that there are there. The same thing seems to be happening to um, other artists as well as Elvis. Hold on, where's the other one? Oh, I am not reading that. What? The N-word community has also been uh, oh! affected by 1841-EX. Yeah, I'm not saying that. It's uh, not hard R, right? No. So, as in, it's just the color. Yeah, but I'm not the, tempting fate. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, no, that's fair. I'm just trying to figure out yeah. the actual contents. Uh, Presley's been effect, uh has this happen to them. Harrison, Lennon, McCarthy, and Starkey has had this happen to them. So, basically, the SCP is just... um, Yeah. The initial article was very clearly written at the time that this musician was alive. Yeah. Based upon... The way that it is written. Mm -hmm. um, and the actual SCP itself is the fact that this can happen to literally any super popular band. Yeah. So in other words, this SCP is boy band fever. <laughs> yeah, basically. Just take it way too far. <laughs> I guess that's my first question. Does this also apply to the fact that, like, similar things have happened with, like, notorious serial killers? Maybe. I mean, I'll I give you all the information I have. But uh, no, I'm just speculating at this point. Either way, um, this is next to harmless. Yeah. Besides, uh, this... the invasion of those people's privacy. Yeah. Like so the main people them. that are like the people that have the most negative effects here, I would say it's probably a mixture of the artists and those around the people that are affected by it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and a little information uh, there's no uh, recordings of Franz Liszt playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
we we don't have one of those and not that we know of mm -hmm. yeah but sadly like i said before many recordings have been destroyed mm -hmm. yeah so do we just put this and as honestly, only if... oh sorry sorry i was gonna say and if it had still been around somehow after all these years it's very doubtful it would still be intact yeah so i would say this goes in either what the fuck tier or spood tier don't know if we should put this in spood tier how does spood feel about this spood should oh, uh, scp that's literally just boy band fever would you like it to be put in what the fuck or spood tier probably what the fuck there okay. we go <laughs> well, all right now we know. <laughs> the, the great spood has spoken you know what's actually funny? We just oh. dealt with one SCP that's about music, and we're about to get into another one. Oh. Mmm. Where the fuck is the speed potion? The next SCP is Disco Inferno. Oh, God. Not the I Disco Inferno. I remember when Disco was still popular. All anyway. Right. All right. I sometimes forget that Jerry's kind of old compared to the rest of us. Oh I'm not God. old. You fucking shit. <laughs> I said compared to the rest of us. You're just too young. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. Just talk about the SCP. Wait, before you started speaking, it sounded like you're having a stroke. No, it's just sound. Gary's not that old. Come on. <laughs> oh god. I'm I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry too. It's fine. All right. Anyway, SCP 1969. Is oh, did you uh? Oh. Yeah, I did you post it. the picture? Okay. Yeah, it's already in there. It, I'm still looking at Moray Eels and Dumb Post. It's under Queen Elizabeth the First message. I'm sorry for all the derpy eels I put in Dumb Post. They're I my apologize. Name. You're fine. Also, I, I use them to argue with uh, Pika. <laughs> also, it looks like Chew's back in chat. I gotta do something real quick. There we go. Anyway. Oh now that Chew's in chat, let's let's have a let's have a little think for a second. Sure did the same thing. Uh Chew. Eels are not snakes. <laughs> they are close to as evolutionarily diverged from each other as they could be. And not only that, eels actually do have limbs. Just because an animal doesn't have arms or legs doesn't mean they don't have limbs. Yeah. Because an because moray eels still have an elongated fin. Yeah. 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 Didn't you know they're related to alligators, not snakes? I'm going to turn you inside out someday. <laughs> eels you... technically have multiple fins, not just like the elongated fin. Oh yeah, but it's basically they, they all long snakes not snakes fish god damn it <laughs> they, they technically a lot of tea yeah they technically they technically do have multiple fins but over time those fins basically completely merge together so they're generally considered to have basically one fin yeah at very least for layman Pika says because i said so and i'm always right with the no, with the no, you really aren't. Well, I'm going to use an eel to describe my feelings on Pika trying to claim he's right about eels being snakes. You know, while I do that, I'm going to read the SCP. SCP-1969 is a disco ball made by an unknown manufacturer. It is 50.8 centimeters in diameter and has a hook attached to the top of the ball in order to hang it from a ceiling. 
There are redacted separate surfaces on the ball, all small in size and, and mirror-like in appearance. Despite the lack of a power source, electromagnetic waves pulsate from each separate face of SCP-1969. However, the faces of 1969 do not consistently radiate at the same wavelength and randomly change from after anywhere between less than zero point redacted seconds and close to two minutes. Why did they redact the seconds? I don't know. Also, I got a I got a smile on my face because I saw a a sudden ping from Ocean Server that said, "You know what? Fuck it," and then a link to a Tumblr <laughs> to a Tumblr account. So I guess Ocean made a Tumblr account. I'm tempted to make one, but I'm not sure. I'm sad because they they like like the the nice thing about Twitter has been that they allow say for work stuff tumblr doesn't do that anymore so what the fuck right what happens to all those artists yeah it has always been hard for those artists and now instead of like and now this time instead of the corporation specifically trying to fuck them over they're getting fucked over because elon musk really wanted to fuck his employees over yeah. I think it's more like Elon Musk thought the best way to uh, get his employees to listen would be to use scare tactics, and it backfired. Yeah, that's fair. Either way, go, go ahead, right? All right. These waves have ranged through... Uh, through the entire electromagnetic uh, spectrum, although wavelengths in or near the human visible spectrum are more likely to linger than extremely long or short wavelengths, which shift quickly. This lends to a classic image of a disco ball with multicolored lights shining from a mirrored spinning ball. Light emanating from 1969 shines through or penetrates materials normal, normally opaque to it. Despite this, all electromagnetic waves seem to reflect normally, but peri paradoxically seems to penetrate materials as well without lowering in intensity. However, the area in which this effect takes place is limited to an ellipsoidal space centered around six, 1969 known as the say say off zone this area spreads out horizontally much more quickly than vertically all right so the say off zone let's see what that is all right it is the rate of growth correlates directly to the cumulative joules of connect energy being applied in the say off zone compound continuously at a rate of e so it has something to do with joules and kinetic energy. Good to know. Joules. Shut up. It's joules, dude. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. 1969 has three states of existence, hereafter referred to as Alpha, Beta, and Lambda. The alpha state is highly dangerous. During the alpha state, the say yaw zone expands. Alpha states are triggered and continued by gross physical motion within the say yaw zone. However, this moment does not need to be artificially caused, allowing natural ca causes to propel an alpha state in 1969. During this time, 1969 rotates clockwise with respect to, to the ceiling at va varying speeds. The rate of growth of the Seiya zone is not constant. Approximately redacted seconds after a cumulative movement inside of the Seiya zone reduces to redacted percent. The Seiya zone's sensitivity to kinetic energy readjusts to allow fewer joules applied to trigger an alpha state. After a certain point, it becomes possible for all such 
small uncontrollable movements as normal tectonic motion to put 1969 in an alpha state. Mathematical measurements and speculations relating to alpha states are located in document 1969-alpha-1. Fortunately, the sensitivity of the Seiya zone during alpha states lowers, allowing it to enter a beta state. Beta states occur allowing an alpha state as its kinetic sensitivity decreases. The Seiya zone slows its growth due to the relative lack of new movement. If the amount of movement within the sail zone goes down enough, the zone will begin to shrink, inciting a beta zone during a state. 1969 spins counterclockwise with respect to the ceiling at varying speeds. If enough joules were to be exerted inside the sail zone, it could expand to cover all of Earth. Dr. Redacted speculates that if the sail zone were to reach the town of Redacted, and a new scenario would be inevitable, as no means available to the Foundation could halt its growth. And a new scenario would affect all light entering the Earth's atmosphere, eventually kill 99% of all organic life forms from radiation poisoning and cause a multitude of other problems. The Seiya zone shrinks considerably while in beta state before returning to an alpha or lambda state. Lambda state can constitute constitutes constant fluctuation between alpha and beta states to the effect that the Seiya zone size never changes significantly. Okay, so this thing can w almost wipe out all life on the planet. Yeah, that's that's an easy XK. <laughs> we didn't what have you, to think much on that. <laughs> what do you say, you Gunder? Is that an XK? He says, leave me the fuck alone. That's um It's interesting. It's just a disco ball that is there that will grow to almost the size of the earth. <laughs> Given enough light. Wait, is it that the disco ball will grow, or that the radiation it lets off will grow? Oh, wait. Pretty sure oh, it's Oh, the yeah, ladder. the Seiya zone. The Seiya zone, that's right. Wait. Yeah, so the radiation it puts off. I love radioactive disco balls. Wait, what the fuck? In the addendum, it says it's 20 inches in diameter, but in the description, it uses centimeters. They just switched measurements. <laughs> Maybe they just want to be inclusive. You have an issue with the, with the authors of this SCP being a little inclusive, Bright? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to turn you into a sickle-shaped cell. All right, I'm going to censor this, because it can be taken as NSFW, even though it's not. How is that? How would that? I've seen. What? I've seen Melting Corn. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it exists. But let's just be frank, Bright. Literally anything can be taken as NSFW. In other words, at this point, we might as well just be saying, you know what? Literally everything right? on Earth is NSFW. Right? Your entire stream is NSFW. <laughs> That's also true, yeah. All right. All right, the next SCP is 1983. Doorway to Nowhere. Oh, I know this one. This is one of my favorites. I, I can't believe I forgot about this one. I think after we do this SCP, I'm going to go get coffee. All right, we'll go on intermission. That's fine. All right. Mm. All right. SCP... 
1983-1 is a one-story farmhouse in Redacted County, Wyoming. It was abandoned in 1968 after a series of ritual murders alleged to perform formed by a satanic cult. The front door of SCP-1983-1, when opened, appears to contain a spatial anomaly. Neither matter nor light has been observed to exit the doorway, doorway save for instances of SCP-1983-2. Dash 1 is accessible through other entrances, including windows, the back door, the entrances, entrances cut into the back of Dash 1. However, the front room does not appear to exist inside of Dash 1. Doors that should lead to the front room instead lead to other doors inside the building. Measurements of the inside and outside of Dash 1 are inconsistent. Holes cut through the interior walls of Dash 1 that should lead to the front room lead instead to the outside walls around the front of Dash 1, but stop 3 meters on either side of the doorway. Attempts to drill into the front room of Dash 1 from the outside have led to the exposure of smaller portions of the anomaly through instances of Dash 2 have not been observed to exit them. Further attempts to breach the wall have been forbidden by O5-03 due to the possibility of allowing increased potential for instances of Dash 2 to appear. Dash 2 are bipedal creatures approximately 1.8 meters tall. They are vaguely humanoid and entirely black in color. They are highly aggressive and will engage any human on sight. When an instance of Dash 2 comes into contact with a human, they extend an upper limb to the human's chest cavity without an apparent damage to skin or tissues. Through unknown means, they then extract the heart, killing the human. Once it has acquired a human heart, the instance of Dash 2 will return to Dash 1. Silver munitions fired while offering a prayer is the only known method of killing Dash 2. The precise form of the prayer or religion of the supplicant does not appear to matter so long as the prayer is sincere. Once killed, the bodies of Dash 2 appear to disintegrate, leaving a small layer of sulfur. SCP-1983 was discovered after a series of mysterious deaths in, in the vicinity of Redacted County. Foundation investigators encountered instances of Dash 2 and were able to trace them back to Dash 1. Okay, so there's that, but there's also, there was actually uh, a note written by an F SCP agent about the place, if you want to hear that. That's the only other yeah. information. Alright. Item number, pending. Object class, Keter. God help you. Special containment procedures. You're going to die, you, you poor dumb fuck. This isn't a threat. I, I'm Agent Barclay. I'm in the middle of this goddamn thing, and I'm telling you, if you're here, you're going to die. I'm probably already dead. So that's out of the way. Let's get to the containment procedures. There's really only one. Close the goddamn door. You aren't going to get back through there. You've probably already tried, but we know they can't get, they can't get out if they try hard enough. That's how we found this fucking place. Hopefully, you've already done that. I know we did once we gave up getting out through here, through there. If you didn't, then you go straight back and get that door closed. That is your only priority right now. You're going to die anyway. Might as well as do some good before you're gone. Description. So, here's a, here's a story. Tell me if you heard it before. The Foundation gets reports of trouble and bumfuck USA. Cow and wildlife are dying mysteriously. Some people turn up missing. When a body shows up, autopsy finds the heart missing. Not cut out, not torn out, just gone. Empty space in the middle of the chest. You find some sort of pitch black things floating around. Some brain at the foundation has seen something like them before, figures out how to kill them. Silver bullets and pray to God as you fire. Literally, for some reason, that makes it work. Doesn't matter which God, but you damn well better mean it. I can't anymore. Not ever. Not after seeing the nest. 
Anyway, Foundation figures out where, where it's all coming from. Some house in the middle of bumfuck. No one's lived there in years, not since yada yada murder cult rituals bullshit. The main thing is, these things keep appearing out of the front door. The team goes in, and they never come back out. But then again, neither do the monsters. A sane person would say, good enough, keep an eye out on it. Kill anything that moves. But this is the foundation. You're a tough agent from MTF whatever the fuck. Maybe Square's NOS. Maybe choir boys, like me. You, you go bust down the door and run inside, and that's it, you're fucked. The living room was bad enough. That's where they, they got O'Brien. They reached in and suddenly he kneeled over. And one of them took off with his hearts in its claws, I guess? They're less distinct here. You probably noticed that. They're like shadows. Stay away from the light. I know that sounds stupid, but think about it. In the light, shadows are stronger. They have edges. When it's dark, they're in, indistinct. They can hardly touch you. And they don't see very well. I think they see... By your shadow. I don't know. I'm just pulling the straws here. I'll be honest. You've probably tried going back out the door, but if you haven't, don't. At least it's someplace even worse. There aren't any monsters, but Jones went too far from the house, and I swear to God, he started to melt. Things started popping out of him, and all you need to know is he didn't make it back. That's when we we closed the door. So we started moving through the house. We kept to the light at first, before we wised up. Three of us gone that way, but we've got a pretty good picture of our surroundings. This place, it's big. It's not just a farmhouse. It's like, it's like the stole bits and pieces of a lot of places and stuck them all together. There's some bits that look like an apartment, some that look like a shopping mall, and even, I swear, is a closet from my old high school. Some patterns on the tiles and everything. There's also bits that are made out of stuff. It's black like the shadow things, and it's mostly in well-lit places. If the lights go out, you can stick your hand through. I don't recommend it. That's how we lost Taurus. Something grabbed him, pulled him through, and the hole wasn't big enough for his head, but he still went through, eventually. So stay away from the light places, but watch your step when it's dark. Of course, there's no way out. We figured that out, too. Any door you find it, it either just leads to another room in this nut house, or it leads out there. And it's pretty pretty obvious we can't live there. So it's wait until you starve to death, or one of those things gets you. Great bunch of choices, huh? There's one thing you can do. I couldn't go through with it, but maybe you can. It won't help you live, I don't think, but it's. I think it's important. Pretty sure someone's going to have to, or these things are going to get out eventually. This place is stolen from a lot of places, so I'm thinking there have to be other doors. We've closed all the ones we found, but what if they opened again, and the Foundation doesn't find them in time? Hell, they don't even know about closing the doors. I'm just hoping they figure out if someone goes in, these things might stop getting out. And that's assuming everyone's smart enough to close the door after they come in. So I figured out a way to stop these things. It's the nest. I only saw it once, after a few minutes. We followed one of the bastards after they... <laughs> ...got Denning's heart. It took it into a room that I guess is in the middle of this whole place. It's all black stuff, and they've dragged in every kind of light they could find, I guess. Lamps, flashlights, candles, you name it. Some of them were carrying more in as we watched. Anyway, in the middle, there were a big pile of hearts just tossed in a heap torn open every one they threw uh, uh, torn open every one they threw Denning's heart on, on the pile and it started to beat and then pulse and then thrashed around then it tore open and one of those things pulled itself out it shook itself started to grow then went right to work the worst thing is that torn apart as they were the hearts kept beating I swear I felt a twinge in my own chest they were shadows in, in the place. I don't mean monsters, I mean real shadows of people. Only there was no one there to cast them. They were coming from the hearts. A new one appeared at the same time as the hatching monster. It started try, trying to pull away, but it couldn't. That's when I ran. I couldn't take it, you understand? 
I wasn't trained for this kind of shit. I heard the others behind me. I don't know if they were trying to stop me or if the bastards had spotted us. But we got separated. I found a nice dark closet. And I've been hiding in here since. I've been writing my pen light. I turn it off whenever I hear one of them getting close. It's worked so far. I can't go any further. I've got a few shots left in the gun. But I can't pray anymore. Not and mean it. Not after I saw the nest. But you, if you found this, you've got to be an agent too. Maybe you're stronger than I was. If you can, go in and destroy the nest. Destroy every last heart. If you do, maybe it'll kill them. It's the only thing I could think of. You'll probably die doing it. But you're dead anyway. So what's it matter to you how it happens? Me, I want to try and get this report back to the living room. Which I hope is where you found it. Then I'm going to make sure they can't use my heart to make another one of those things. Good luck. Moratore te salant. And that's it. <laughs> However, there was a story that's connected to this SCP that explains what that outside is. It's when day breaks. Oh, uh... fuck. Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense because humans melt in one day breaks. Yeah. Melt is putting it lightly. Yeah. They melt, then they turn into monsters that cannot die. Uh, so, so, do these things have any, like, actual range? Like, are they able to just go wherever they want? As far as... I have told you all the information I got, so I believe they can go as long as there's light. That's what it looks like in that note, so as long as there's light, they can go. Hmm. What I see is this, I see this as a place of hell. Either you die by those creatures, or you die by when day breaks. Yeah. You're, you're just dead either way. Or you starve. Yeah. Or or with theorists say with this guy, he uh, shot his own heart. Mm. Which makes sense because he said he wouldn't get they wouldn't get his heart. So Yeah. Ow. Uh Yeah, but yeah, this I... this is a terrifying SCP. And it is one of my favorites. Yeah. It's it's well written and cool. My favorite activity is placing TNT all over the place for no reason. Yeah, and you also don't get to see many SCPs get connected to proposals as much, like when day breaks or a factory. Mm hmm. Yeah. Usually it's just Doctor One Entertainment. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, Doctor One when day break... proposal. Yeah. No, I was gonna say I didn't know that. When day breaks was a proposal. Oh yeah, when day breaks is an SCP zero zero one proposal. I did not know that. Yeah. I <laughs> I just blew open a cavity into the earth and I found nice. a whole bunch of creepers waiting for me. Nice. So yeah, basically this is just the the one of the worst ways to go at the foundation. <laughs> that said, like I honestly think this SCP can only be put into uh, certain groups. Yeah. It's like, if you're in the SCP Foundation, if you're sent there, you're fucked. If you live near this thing, you're probably fucked. Yeah. But, like, other than that, like, these things can't really do much. Yeah. So, uh, Hatchet, what did you think of the SCP? It's... It's one of my favorites because of how fucked up it is. 
I mean, I I had heard sections of it before. I just didn't know the part about when day breaks. Yeah, not many people know, because not many people like look looking into the stories connected to SCPs and stuff. I do. Yeah. So that's how I figured out that the outside is just when day breaks, which is just terrifying as an aspect. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I hurt. So you're going to get coffee, right? Or yeah. All right, I'll go to intermission. Yeah. I shall be back. Yeah. But yeah, Aderna Jerry, what did you think of one of my favorite SCPs? If I unmute myself, you'll probably hear Spood. Oh, okay. Uh, what about you, Aderna? I was practicing. Um, sounds interesting. Yeah. Honestly, I probably wouldn't put it in a certain group. I would probably put it in like, like it didn't say like where it was, where they were like taking them from. So and it's like when daybreak is, so they could potentially be going around the world and getting hearts. There during the in, in when daybreak universe, yeah, they could, like with so any survivors. It, it could be like XK. Like in that universe, but in the regular yeah. universe, not as much, because Foundation has it yeah. under control. But in when day breaks the universe, it's ultimately fucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gonna run rampant. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, like that's a that's a scenario that we can put that in. Is food is making less noise, so I will say. It is terrifying, and it is connected to something also terrifying. That's all I can say on it. <laughs> I think I'm going to mute myself again. That's fair. <laughs> oh wait, did I send a Derna my opening intro? No, I did not. There you go, Aderna. It's funny though. It's funny, but why? <laughs> Wait, what is funny? What's funny? What's going on? Uh, remember that thing that I sent you about the pigs? Yeah. That was the thing I sent Derna. 
Oh, just now? You're yeah. You're fucking late. I forgot. I meant to send it to them when I mass send it to everyone else. <sighs> right. Well, you are basically a ball of chaos. No, 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 no. Bright's not a ball of chaos. They're, like, the fucking black hole of chaos. They no, suck chaos food. in. Food is so chaos. chaos. They make chaos its little, their little hidey holes. Okay. No, if you look in. Okay. So black hole... Okay, so, so then... Okay, then Bryce is son of chaos. What? A star of chaos. Oh, star. I thought you said... Yeah, never mind. No, uh, I said a son of chaos, because stars are sons. Uh, also, I changed my name. Going... What in the fuck is your... What the fuck? No, Bryce! No! Why? <laughs> Change it! Why? <laughs> it's, it doesn't break the rules, so it's fine. It <laughs> referred to something sexual, right? It refers to the SCP! Oh, the last one? Yes, it was the <laughs> it's a farmhouse on the outside, but when you go inside, it's not. Really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the joke of my name. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Wait, what was that, like, last one you, you did called? Was it like friends? Was it list? Oh, list. Uh, list of mania. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep mine in this embrace eternity for a while, actually. Oh. A bird of chaos, no fuck you, bookworm. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a bird of chaos. Oh my. Shush. You're to go to continue with the like to this with the sun and um what is it called? Oh sun and black hole analogy I was using. Um <clears throat> you're the you're the sunbird of chaos. No. The... <laughs> Starbird of Chaos can work too. No. <laughs> well, you get to be a star. Wait. Wait, hold on. I know how I can escape being called a bird. You, you get to I... be a star, but you also have to be a bird, though. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. I know how to escape the uh how to escape being called a, bur a bird. I go inside 1983. What? The SCP I just read. What? So you go and kill yourself. Hey, I'm immortal. <laughs> I have my amulet. <laughs> you do know they'll take you they might actually I don't know what they would do with the amulet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what you know if... what? We have to research this. Yeah. Right? Go into the... <laughs> Jerry's... <laughs> Jerry's... <laughs> I'm just listening to the chaos, kneeling. There's nothing <laughs> I can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to ask, Bef uh, Jiri. Before I'm starting to ask, uh, uh, let's start writing chapter three and whatnot. Uh, is your character older or you or yeah, same age or younger than my character? I never really figured out what age the character would be, since 
At one point, he stopped physically aging. Uh, but if your character's in their 20s, he's very likely much, much older than them. Uh, then, yeah, then you you would be older. Yeah, remember, part <laughs> of his story is literally involving time shenanigans. Like, am I even in the universe I was conceived in? Shrug. <laughs> am I in the right time? Shrug. <laughs> that, that's literally how he starts off with as of leaving the cave. Yeah. It's also one of the reasons why the tree is so tall. I guess that's what happens when you interact with anomalous things. Or you're born of, of an anomalous thing in an anomalous thing. Yeah. I wonder if Brooklyn was here around when they told that SCP. What? Uh, so I wonder if Brooklyn was around when I said that SCP. Right? Did you just tweet Bob's? Yeah, I was. I was. I just uh, replied to Hatch's tweet boobs. So I just replied Bob's. <laughs> oh. Also, um, there's actually one thing I'm gonna announce in here that you might be interested in, Jerry. What's that? This is from. This is probably going to be the last message on Twitter from the SCP Wiki themselves. As we enter the wonderful festivities of, of the winter time, the SB Wiki is happy to, to celebrate it alongside everyone. So, of course, you can assume we've got something planned. That's right, fo folks. It's time for the 11th annual gift exchange. From now until November 23rd, you can sign up to join SCP Wiki's gift exchange, where you'll be tasked to make a gift for someone else, and you'll get a gift in return. Interested in participating? You can join here. Blah, 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 blah. We hope you enjoy the event. That sounds chaotic. The gift you get this year is me. It just sends you in the mail. 
I will fold myself up and send myself in the mail. Is that illegal? Yes. But will I do it? No. No, I won't do that. Also, I had forgotten to ask before I left. Uh, how long were you planning to stream? Till 2 a.m., so we have an hour left. Oh, okay. Good. By the way, we've got background noise coming from you, Jerry. Either way, let's... I'm not going to join this year on the gift exchange. Maybe next year when I get good at drawing. No. But not Either this way, year. Either way, let us, yeah. let us continue. Did you just talk in a different accent? Maybe. I have Italian sausages. All right. The next SCP is SCP. Wait. What? You're telling me Italians are in these sausages? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway. Next SCP is SCP-1984, also known as Dead Hand. I, I thought it was going to be, I uh, thought it was going to be George Orwell. Shut up! I posted a picture of what it is in chat. Yeah, that looks like Big Brother. It'd be really ironic if you 1984'd me right now. <laughs> Very good. Let's continue. <laughs> All right. SCP-1984 was created by the Soviet Union during the 1980s to serve as a second strike nuclear deterrence mechanism. So, let's take a second. I almost choked on my Italian sausage. Because the, the, <laughs> the book 1984 was ostensibly a criticism of totalitarianism and thus a criticism of the USSR. <laughs> In other words, the SCP who's, who shares a name with one of the most well-acclaimed George Orwell books just so happens to have been made by one of the main people who was criticized in that George Orwell book. Yep. Wonderful. I almost died from laughing on laughing at that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. SCP-1984 is in fact the system referred it to in the Western media as Dead Hand, an automated nuclear response commonly believed to be triggered by the destruction of the Soviet command and control structure. However, rather than being a network of sensors and competing systems, SCP-1984 is an autonomous, self-aware entity of varying observable existence with direct access to all Russian nuclear sites and the ability to commence the launch of ICBMs stored therein. SCP-1984 consists of the embalmed remains of Ser Sergeant Murat Chernikov, a Russian soldier killed during the Soviet-Afghan War in 1982. Wait, that's a war? Yeah, the Soviet-Afghan War. I, yeah. I, I actually never learned about that. I'm going to look that up later. But I like learning history. Yeah. I've never heard of that. If I remember correctly, I, I, I know very little on it, but if I remember correctly, it was basically uh, the USSR wanted to expand into Afghanistan. And so, as was the standard thing of the United States, they started uh, pumping funds into uh, the local groups, which later became the Taliban. Mm. So, in other words, yes, the United States basically kick-started the Taliban.
Wow. Interesting. I'm definitely going to look up into that, like, watch a video about it. So that's interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, these little wars. Well, not little, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of these wars that the USSR engaged in that don't really tend to make it into modern uh, history talks about it. That sucks, so. Yeah. Anyway. Well, well Sergeant... I think mo oh. most... So most of my modern history classes ended with, um, like, the Vietnam War, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Modern like, history... They didn't, they didn't even, like, talk about the Vietnam War. They just lightly brushed it. They're like, Vietnam War happened. Yeah. Yeah. Modern history ended when the USS government supposedly, allegedly, maybe, maybe used a false flag attack to justify invading Vietnam. I don't know. It, there was, okay, there was one clock that, like, didn't re really, like, where, like, uh, one of the, my teachers was a soldier during Vietnam and talked about, like, how it felt like when he came back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if y'all didn't know, uh, the initial incident that uh, kick-started the U.S. moving into Vietnam uh, is highly suspect and was basically one of our ships sunk or was attacked. And we can't actually know who attacked it, but we just assumed it was the Viet Cong because, of course, it was the Viet Cong. Right. Well, that's kind of, I think that's kind of similar to what happened, like, in uh, the Spanish-American War. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Spanish-American War. The yeah, it's not a... Spanish-American War, because, like, that's how, like, the U.S. calls it. I think, like, in other places, they call it, like, in, like, because it wasn't, like, mainly, like, Americans fighting. It was m mainly uh, Cubans, I think. Yeah. The U.S. I, just came in and, like, bolstered. Yeah. In other words, I, I think, in other words, the, right, here's your little history lesson for the day. Uh, when was, the United... When, when the United... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. When the United States wants to wage a war and they don't have an actual justification to invade, they'll make one. Well, like, so, like, the justification for the Spanish-American War, I think, so it was a, uh, one of our ships blew up in, mm -hmm. like, uh, and they said it was a mine, the U.S. said. Yeah. Or who, yeah. But it wasn't. They, well, like, they, like, made propaganda saying that, it was, like, it was blown up by, like, a Spanish mine or something. But it wasn't. It was like it uh so it was like a internal like failure that caused the like caused the like uh sh ship to like kind of like combust. Yeah. So anyway, let's get back to the USSR's immortal death guy. Well, well, before I do, so does that mean if the if I can convince the U.S. they can destroy Norway? No, bright. No, <laughs> that's you would that's actually... okay. Right, you would legitimately have to find a way to destroy something in Norway, making it look like it was done by the. Norwegian military. That is, and yeah. also like make sure that you don't get, like you don't leave any evidence that it was you, not, like that it was you. Like, it would be legitimately hard for you to do that. And on top of that, uh, on top of that, you're, you are not smart enough to do that. 
you know, no, I was going to say on top of that, uh, if I remember correctly, Norway either is a part of it or is working at becoming a part of NATO. Mm-hmm. In other words, it's just literally not within the U.S. as the U.S. is U.S.S. Yeah, jurisdic- the U.S.'s jurisdiction because yeah. it would be a NATO. So NATO would come in and like be like. Yeah. And yeah, NATO would come into play. So you wouldn't get the U.S. on their asses. You would get NATO on their asses. Even better. Now, if you were able to pull this off and convince Russia. Let's stop talking about this. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Speaking of Russia. Oh my god. Yeah, speaking of Russia, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> well, S- Sergeant Cherikov is referenced in Project December Russia. documentation. How, 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 is that, how is that spelled? C-H-E-R-N-I-K-O-V. Wait. You can't, wait. Spell it again. C H E R N I K O V. Oh, Chernikov. 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 Yeah. yeah. I just haven't been saying the N part of the word. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you didn't. You didn't say the N or the I. It, all right. So, project the. Really need to start properly tallying these Shush. pronunciation errors. Cease. <laughs> Anyway, bright, bright would bright would be in the like thousands by now. Shash, if we counted between all the streams, definitely. For just today, oh. we're probably close to we're probably upwards of. I think low estimate is like twenty five to thirty. Shash. <laughs> anyway, Project December documentation. No, uh, no official Russian Federation records exist regarding him at this time scp-1984 serves as the locus for scp-1984-1 in its dormant state dash one is a semi-sentient consciousness capable of receiving and processing broadcast signals dash one can apparently discern uh, discern the informational content of any broadcast it receives during times of what it perceives to be heightened global military tensions, especially those involving the Russian Federation and f- former satellite states of the Soviet Union, Dash One will begin to manifest and becomes able to interact with physical world by varying degrees. Manifestations have ranged from a, a barely perceptible hazy human-shaped outline to a glowing bright red apparition in the distant shape of a child missing its legs. When Dash 1 manifests in this manner, its secondary abilities become apparent. These include the ability to directly interface with nuclear command systems with an approximately 50 meter radius, and combat capabilities focus on severe disruption of the human nervous system. When SCP-1984 fully manifests, it can move at speeds measured up to 140 kilometers per hour and will immediately attempt to travel to the nearest functioning land-based strategic rocket installation housing R-36M ICBMs. Access its command command system and launch all missiles at their present targets. It will repeat this process until it's launched all remaining missiles under Russian control. Dash-1 is extremely hostile to any human it perceives as interfering interfering with it, and will engage any personnel in its immediate path. Dash 1 has shown limited vulnerability to microwave radiation, however this serves to misdirect and confuse the entity rather than directly harm it. And there you go. Um... That's an XK. It would be either world changing or XK, and I'll go XK. Yes, let's launch on the nukes. Right. Yes. Your channel now belongs to me. You're evicted. 
get out of here. Oh, look! Another joke SCP! Oh. What? I'm posting it in the stream chat. Alright, there you go. Oh god, it's Half-Life 3. The joke SCP is Half-Life 3. I need to tone my voice down because my mom yelled at me for being loud. It, its nickname is called the Hype Train. I wonder why. <laughs> All right. SCP-1992 is a worldwide phenomenon focused around various forms of media, including novels, music, movies, television programs, video games, comic books, and internet-based media. SCP-1992-J... Oh. What? What? What's that? Thanks, Bookworm. I also need to oh. move my alert box. I didn't realize it was still right there. Oh, what did Bookworm do? <laughs> they activated the uh, hype. They did. They said hype train lol. And they donated one bit. He <laughs> <laughs> said hype train on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was perfect, Bookworm. Hype train lol. One bit. <laughs> How much is that worth? Like a cent? Yeah. <laughs> Something so funny about that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. SCP 1992 J physically manifests in the form of an autonomous passenger train designated SCP 90. 1992-J-1. Multiple instances of dash one are capable of existing at once. Thank you for the bits, Cherry. Correction, a giggle. Wait, what did what did Jerry say? A gay dollar. Oh. <laughs> Alright. SCP-1992- Jesus Christ! Fire Red Emblem has gifted two subs to viewers. I need to get... I need to open up my browser and pay I, attention I to stream like, chat. I, I felt like being a sassy sass, and then Bookworm's like, you know what, I'm actually... <laughs> Thank you, Bookworm. What did Bookworm do now? They donated two subs. Oh, damn. Thank now, you. come to think of it, my sub ran out. <laughs> Shit, are, you, are you making Bookworm for a sub? No, I'm literally... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm literally... <laughs> I'm literally just speaking out loud. Oh. I thought we were getting close to an actual hype train lol. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Sea Snake Cherry has gifted one me. sub to viewers. <laughs> Every time comes, the alert box goes off. It's amazing. I, I, it's... I was trying to get it for you since you said you didn't have one, but it went to Apollo instead. Yeah. And I'm not going to buy another. That's fair. <laughs> that's That's amazing. I just love how it's... every time I try to speak, the alert box goes off. It's well, amazing. wait, isn't it possible to, like, specifically give a sub yeah, to a you can. No, it's random. Yeah, no, you can, you can. There's a way. Wait, you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually doesn't... There's... Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, there's a way. <laughs> oh settings I don't know how to just twitch <laughs> Twitter twitch twitch yes twitch Twitter <laughs> Twitter <laughs> I don't my, know I don't know Twitter. your twitch tell me your twitch 
My Twitter is at hatchethead33. Twitch! Guess what my Twitch is as well. Hatchethead. 33. Is there any caps? I mean, maybe. There's only one Hatchethead 33. Are you Hatchethead 33? <laughs> I don't know. Am I hatchet head 33? <laughs> what is happening? I mean, I don't know. I'm having an existential crisis now. Am I truly there hatchet head 33? Sea Snake Jerry has gifted you? a sub to hatchet head 33. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Wait, what the? That's not me. It's not? <laughs> No, hatchet heads. <laughs> no, uh, hatchet I'm joking. In front of you. <laughs> oh yeah, the new Am seller I? just dropped. Are you hatchet head thirty <laughs> three? Are you? <laughs> right up there with Wait. is kid. I <laughs> gay. <laughs> oh, and, is and, Jiri no. gay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's right up there with is Jiri gay? <laughs> hey! <laughs> anyway, let's get that back is to the sound that. bite. Yeah. On Twitch. Bright made that a thing. Weird all the time. Bright! What kind of woman are you? <laughs> you have to pay thirty dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like ridiculously long. Like it's an entire like almost minute and a half. Of like us talking about how you are, how we're like speculating whether or not you're gay. <laughs> you know what? Brooklyn says, "Yeah, it's pretty pricey. I'll do it at some point." You know Fair what? Book. If my subathon goes well, I'll reduce the price of some of my sound alerts. Reduce the price of organ. <laughs> well, I already said no. more than I should have. I didn't get a lot of hours last week or the week before. That's fair. Anyway, let's go back to the SCP. Figure out why it's a Keter. We. Oh yeah, the hype train. I'm actually gonna leave the chat. I think I'm peopled out. All right. It's late too. See you, Jerry. Okay, then. I guess at a All later right. time. Uh. Tonight, I shall send the new fish images in the chat. Yes. See you, Jerry. Yes, see you, Jerry. Uh, Take care. Yeah. All right. SCP-1992-J events begin when the, with the announcement of a piece of media that is met with widespread enthusiasm. A va variable researchers have tentatively themed hype <gasps> in the time of hype. Really? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Hex. What are you talking about? I'm playing Spider Solitaire. I don't know what you're talking about. I have Streamlabs desktop open. I can see you activate alerts. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm playing. I'm. Do you think I have time to touch Twitch while I, while I'm, uh, while yes. I'm playing Spider Solitaire? No, no, I don't. Fuck off. Anyway, I'm playing Spider Solitaire right now. However, an instance of of Dash 1 will not manifest for every anticipated piece of media. It is no, unknown how exactly SCP-1992-J selects its sources, though it has hypothesized it selects media that will cause the most damage. It is theorized that Dash 1 will preemptively manifest to represent media that are met with largely negative reaction upon release. If true, it is unknown whether Dash J is capable of pr to protect the quality quality of the upcoming media or retro retroactively affects the source media upon manifestation or media release, as the cr creators of the media are often confused by the negative reception. Upon manifestation, individuals who hold interest and the relevant upcoming media are subject to a minor compulsion to board the train. Dash 1 will disappear shortly after departing the from the station. As more people board the Dash 1, the range and strength of the compulsion increases. Those aboard Dash 1 are theorized to subsist on hype rather than typical 
sustenance of food and water. Upon the media's release, the Rev Revelant Dash 1 will manifest somewhere on the rail line in the media's country of origin. Dash 1 will travel at the velocity dependent on the total number of those who have boarded. It will continue along the rail line until it either arrives at the next station or derails due to excessive velocity. <laughs> so, uh, after that, it just has some uh, dates along with media. There are notable confirmed manifestations. You want me to read them? Uh -huh. I think we get it. Well, since you said High Fly 3... Oh, just... no. <laughs> What's... Alright, I just want to see what, what it did in there. Okay. SCP-1992-1-J is unique in it that it... It is the only steam power locomotive to date. Currently estimated velocity upon release nears the speed of light. XK class scenario hypothesized upon the release of the game. <laughs> what? I half life okay. three. So, so we already have the like. We we already have the like, the like ranking XK. There we go. Half Life Three will end the world. Yep. There is no God. I expect to at least hear a chuckle to that. Dern a plate, I am a toaster. Stir. <laughs> oh, gee, what the fuck? I what? guess go ahead and read all the other ones. Alright. Alright. The first uh, uh, media it happened on was Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Result. Phantom. Hmm? What was that, Adirna? Okay, I'll... No, go, go ahead. Alright. Result. Result. Major damage upon derailment. Possible retrocausal effect deteriorating the quality of the original trilogy. Those who survived appear to have been self anesthetized, claiming oh, the my... prequel trilogy never occurred. Oh, this... Oh, yeah, this is a joke SCP. I forgot. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. The Matrix Reloaded was next. Upon derailment, the train was subjected to an, an erratic temporal anomaly that caused it to randomly slow down for brief periods of time. Uh, co locally bullet time? I don't know how to say that fucking word. I'm. A locally. Co locally, yeah. Thank you. Uh... Anyway, after several rolls, the train somehow managed to to land back on the rails and successfully reached the next station where it exploded and killed everyone in the train and the station. Hmm. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my god. Wait, the movie or a game? Uh, the video game in 2006. Uh -huh. Despite the only moderate amount of passengers, the train was able to spin upon de derailment and accelerate to supersonic speed. Oh, no god damn it. Oh my god. Notably, it's a sonic train. <laughs> yep. Notably, several cars of the train were filled with thousands of insects and se several kilograms of fecal matter. No, no survivors. Where did the insects and fecal matter come from? <laughs> Are those the, like, little... Oh, those might be those little, like, uh... They might be talking about the little, what are they called? Chows. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think those were insects, but okay. They yeah. were not. They were plant creatures, I think. 
Yeah. All right. Next is Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh my <laughs> God! Just, okay. Model of SCP. I'll just do this one. <laughs> really? I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> anyway. Model of SCP 1992 1 J was severely outdated but appeared to have been recently painted. An unidentified flying object assumed to be part of the SCP 1992 J phenomenon appeared to attempt to abduct the train. The UFO crashed into a water tower and the train derailed, killing all inside. A single passenger was found several kilometers from the crash site, having apparently sought shelter in the train's kitchen refrigerator. He was also oh, dead. God. This, oh God. this SCP is nothing but pop culture and movie references. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Metroid, Other M. Video game 2010. Bad Chew isn't here. Yeah. Although the instance of SCP 1992 J 1 was traveling at speeds much higher than it is recommended. It did not derail for almost two hours. It was not until a male voice of indeterminate origin gave the train permission to crash that the train derailed, killing all its passengers. Right. I actually don't know the next this game. Duke Nukem Forever. Oh dear God! After almost oh a... God, <laughs> yep. After almost a decade of inactivity, the relevant SCP nineteen ninety two J dash one suddenly began manifesting again. Notably, a large gearbox had been installed on the engine car. Upon release, the train immediately started to full speed. The horn sounded, blaring re references to media long since irrelevant. The train. Crash caused no building damage to to the location of its derailment. Eighty percent passenger mortality rate. I don't get it. Duke Nukem Forever was a massive flop of an attempt to revitalize the Duke Nukem franchise. I've never heard of Duke Nukem. How the fuck have you never heard of Duke Nukem? I'm sorry, I've never heard of Duke Nukem. I... I think I'm ha... <laughs> Booker says too young. I mean, I'm... I'm younger than Bright, and I know what Duke Nukem is vaguely. I think I'm You're having... Barely young. You're barely younger than Bright. Yeah, but still. Point stands. <laughs> and... Okay. I'm the oldest one in this chat right now. Yeah. We're going to say that in the video game circles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm just... Next one... I, uh... I think this is... I think I'm having, like, a... Uh, um... A penguin moment. <laughs> when I don't understand something that they say. Yeah. Alright. The next one is Diablo... Diablo 3. Diablo. <laughs> Shut up. Di Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> Diablo. <laughs> I just forgot to say the L. Diablo. Yeah, Diablo 3. I don't know that Diablo. game either. I've never heard of that game. How? Or series. I don't know. Diablo. It's I. Oh. Yeah. What, I, what happened? Are you ready to hear what happened? Give me a second. Oh. You're right. I, I think I'm breaking hatchet. You always do that. <laughs> I think the only one I don't break is Jerry. <laughs> mm, you you do break them sometimes. Just not as bad as everyone else. They're more immunized. Yeah. They took the bright scene. Well, it's because they've like... 
so way. Because they've known they, like, you for way longer. They've known you longer than the rest of us. All right, we can continue. All right. Unlike, I um, am Diabo. <laughs> Unlike other final materializations, the relevant SCP-1992-J-1 final ma materialization initiated with it pulling into the redacted train station, passengers were asked to disembark and wait due to technical difficulties. Reports indicate that the train somehow did not have enough seats for the passengers. When it finally did depart with its passengers, it quickly derailed into a nearby auction house, and despite being off its off the tracks, it was able to propel itself through a Sony building several kilometers away. Strangely, <laughs> a high percentage of the passengers survived, and despite their complaints, would board another train with the same engineers. I don't get it. Let's just continue. And the last one before the Half-Life one is Prometheus, a movie I've never heard of. Oh, I think I've heard of that one, actually. Yeah. Alright, what happened was... You're killing me, Bright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. What happened was severe damage to the domestic area it derailed into. Reports indicate residents of the area could have avoided death if they had simply fled at an angle. Oh my god. Oh shit! The person who wrote this is one, is one of the... Uh, is a person who left but was one of the OG creators of the site. <laughs> hmm. Twisted Not gears. admin... Oh, okay, gears. I was about to say, this isn't an admin bright one, is it? No, this is Twisted Gears, a.k.a. Dr. Gears. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. So, where are we putting this train? I mean, we already know it's an XK. Wait, I just uh -huh. thought about it. What happens when a, poke a Pokemon game gets hyped up? Oh my god. Dear God. <laughs> There's a lot Wait, isn't, of... Isn't Pokemon already hyped up? Yeah, all the time. I, I it, already I, fit, it already fits the like, description. So. I see, that's the thing. Pokemon's always hyped up. So somewhere out there, there's just an anomalous train that is perpetually <laughs> beating at enormous speeds, maintaining being just barely on the rail, and it's filled to the brim with various animals. There's no actual people on it. It's just animals. No, 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 no. The, the, the people die every single, every. If it, it just flies off a bit, so the people die. The animals yeah, the are fine. Yeah, the people get launched out. The the kangaroos and the mice. What? It's a picture of a what? foot, but Discord won't let me show it. <laughs> God damn it! It's just no, it, no feet shots around here, bright. You know it's better. Just, all right, from the picture, the fingernails are twisted in different areas than usual. That's that's the picture. I'm okay. You just. I wish you could wait. Can't you? Okay. Bright. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. Oh. Catch it? Yeah, second. Okay. You gotta go to a different side for feet shots, lulls is bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's right. I can send it on Twitter since it's dying. <laughs> Can I be heard? Yeah. Can I be heard? Yes. Hatchet, I can hear you. Okay, I can finally... Okay, Jesus Christ. You have been disconnected. Thanks for telling me. Um, uh, do you see the image that you... Like, on, on your screen on the site? No. You don't have the image you tried to post? Oh, and... wait. Yeah, it's right here. It's... I can probably yeah, just... okay. Hover yeah. over 
No, hover over the image, okay. press uh, right click, say open image in new tab. Uh, there is none of that, but I could. Okay, so I can't do that. Never mind. Uh, Wait, okay. New page source. Uh, that did not work. No, okay. Click on the, uh, right, right click on it and tell me what you see. Back, forward, reload, save as, print, cast, create QR code for his page, translate to English, block element, fuge page source, inspect. The f okay, new plan. Try left clipping and clicking on the image and drag it up to the tabs and see if you can make it into a new tab. No, like on like on your browser. No. Wait, where did you go? You dragged the <laughs> change in the world changing. Uh, yeah, well, fuck. Hold I guess on. we'll never know what it looks like. I know. I got an idea. There we go. There it is. Oh, oh god. Why was why did I try so hard to see that? There you go. You get to see it. Aren't you That's happy? not even a foot. Why'd you say it was a foot? That was that not a foot? That looked like a well, well it, maybe it was a foot. Yeah. I couldn't tell. My <laughs> brain shut down somewhat. Book was this nice, perfectly disgusting. Let's, let's move on. Just oh, uh, just it's, it. Nick, its nickname fits that picture. It's called. Its nickname is Rot. Sure. I can't feel my lungs anymore. Okay. All right. SCP-1994 is the general destination for a set of phenomena, dis phenomena discovered in the dental laboratory of Dr. Rasmin Yelko. Wait, that was supposed to be a mouth? Dental? That was supposed to okay, be a mouth? We, we continue. All right. SCP-1994-1 is a serum developed developed by Dr. Yelkov in 1958. Chemical analysis of SCP-1994-1 has returned conflicting results with certain samples exhibiting higher levels of sodium oh, I'm gonna butcher this. monofluorophosphate and others with higher levels of hexofluorosilic acid along with other non-specific chemical structures. Regardless of its chemical makeup, SCP-1994-1 appears to have been designed to, s to simulate the growth of maxillary and mand mandibular tooth structures outside of, of the oral environment. SCP-1994-2 are calcified structures resembling human teeth that have grown on the body outside of the oral environment as a result of the application of Dash 1. While Dash 2 visu visually appears identical to human teeth, they lack many of the base structures of teeth. Dash 2 do not contain a dentin layer, nor do they contain pulp tissue. Instead, Dash 2 instances appear to be a solid piece of enamel. Enamel? E-N-A-M-E-L. -E Please, for the love of God, tell me you do that that you have heard what enamel is. I haven't been to a dentist in a long while, so no. Uh <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Hatchet. You. 
where is wrong with Virginia's education system? Just tell me what the fuck the word is. It's the main thing teeth are made out of. Yes. Thank you. Right. Anyway. Oh my god. How have you right. never heard that word before? Oh, I just see Brooklyn's message. It's it's a layer on your teeth. Mm-hmm. Oh well. Anyway. No, yeah, it's a layer on your teeth. It's like I think it's like the one of the first layers. I went to the dentist today. <laughs> Fun oh, I I've, I've never went to a dentist. Interestingly You're... enough. Wait, seriously? Oh. My my mom is like uh, like deathly afraid of the dentist. Oh. Okay. And it, the only the only time I got any work done on my teeth was for on uh was with ortho, orthodontist. Mm. Anyway. Because braces. Right. Yeah. Anyway, on with the SCP. Notably the, dashed. The scary, thing, the scary thing about that is my sibling almost died because of that. Oh gods. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Anyway. Notably, Dash 2 are highly success susceptible to decay. As they decay, Dash 2 will release a fine white powder capable of infecting those who inhale it. Oh look, the picture that we saw. SCP-1994-2 manifesting through keratin tissue image taken from the medical logs of Dr. Yalkov. Okay, so it can grow on keratin. All right. Uh, SCP-1994-3 are individuals who have been injected with Dash-1 or exposed to the powder byproduct of Dash-2. The purpose of these injections were detailed in private logs of Dr. Yelkov. Uh, subjects exposed to scp cp 1994-1 will go through five distinct stages of infection. Uh, initial one, initial exposure. Subject is exposed to dash one through injection or the particulate byproduct matter of dash two. The subject will show no outward signs of infection for a period of roughly two weeks, during which the during which the subject will undergo internal cellular phys physical oxygen changes. Calcium deposits will begin to appear at various locations throughout the body, and cell structures devoted to immune response and bodily maintenance will slowly begin to reorganize into systems capable of assembling in the necessary components of en enamel. All right. Breakouts. Uh, oh, wait, stage two, breakouts. After an average of two weeks of development below the skin layer, dash two first appears encapsulated in cysts that ruptured the skin as they grow. These breakouts begin initially on the limbs before appearing in other regions such as the head, neck, back, and groin. Dash 3 will find these instances painful to, to, to the touch and will resist any attempts to remove Dash 2 from their bodies. The growth and spread of breakouts of Dash 2 directly correlate to deceased metabolic functions in, da in Dash 3. Stage 3. Maturation and Encapsulation. Approximately 5 weeks from initial exposure, the cyst containing Dash 2 bursts open, revealing a mature adult human tooth. Once these teeth are exposed, they will become permanently affixed to the skin tissue of Dash 3 and are removable only through surgery. Additionally, this phase is identified by a rapid expansion of breakout sites. As more Dash 2 instances mature, Breakouts will quickly cover over the extremities and begin to appear in the softer tissues of the palate of the mouth, inner ear, anal, and vaginal openings, and ocular tissues. Ocular tissue? Ocular tissues? Ocular. Ocular tissues, okay. I think that has to do with the eyes. 
Ah. Yeah, ocular, ocular has to do with eyes. Yeah. Um, this is got, really disgusting. You got teeth in your ass, boy. <laughs> All right. Back oh my in my God. day, we stored our spare teeth in our gums, not our eyes. Wait, <laughs> if you grow well, teeth, if I you don't grow... know. We we store, we store. If we, how did my brain go to the like, uh, janitor from the game? <laughs> <laughs> We store my spare teeth in my box right next to the dead little children. Uh, right, so I have a question. If we grow teeth in our ass, does that mean we can eat through our ass? Right. <laughs> right, what the fuck? <laughs> right. Right, I need you to I need you to listen very closely to what I have to tell you. Yes. Someday you will wake up in the morning and your intestines will have been replaced with spaghetti noodles. Yeah, I'll be Italian. Wait. Had you missed the perfect chance <laughs> to say, right, I have something to tell you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <gasps> I wanted to give Bright one of my bizarre, weird ass, indeterminate threats. I love Borkhorn's messages. We can eat shit with our asses. Yeah. Bookworm, don't encourage this. <laughs> You're better than this, Bookworm. I like how Borkworm always encourages my behavior. I I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> it makes good content, but it also hurts me inside. Yeah. Anyway. Stage four. Decay. <laughs> After an Oh, boy. It's time for the teeth in our eyes to decay. <laughs> this is so unpleasant. Wait, says, had to clarify because I realized that some people do eat shit. And big enabler. <laughs> uh, All right, in, in in stage four decay, after an average of eight weeks of encapsulation, the whole body of dash three will be covered in a layer of dash two. However, however, shortly after finally maturing, dash two will begin to develop rapid, carious lesions across all surfaces. The means by which the decay pro pro progresses is currently unknown, as Dash 2 are not subject to exposure of the acid-producing oral bacteria which commonly create such lesions. The full decay of all instances of Dash 2 is swift, often taking no longer than 7 days to exhibit signs of gross decay. During this time, Dash 2 will begin to release a fine white powder that lingers in the air, the effects of which have been detailed above. Conventional air scrubbing techniques have proven effective in eliminating this powder from the air. Stage 5 Expiration Once the process is involved in the creation and maturation of Dash 2 have run their course and the body of Dash 3 is completely covered in a full rot, the subject will shortly thereafter expire. Because of the high volume of decay tissue covering the body, the weakened state of the immune system, and incapacity to ingest any form of nutrition, subjects invulnerably die after roughly two weeks of full decay. The corpse of Dash 3 must be incinerated to remove any lingering particulate matter from Dash 2. And that's it. Jesus Christ, that's a painful way to go. Uh, I Oh is I this stuff? Oh go ahead. I found I found a log that explains why he did this. Cause he really wanted people to have teeth in their eyes? Alright, so alright. 
Alright. Dr. Yelkov, greetings to you, comrade. Hopefully you will have received my previous letters about the work at hand. If you do not, and if you have not spoke yet spoken with Dmitri, allow me to be clear about my intentions. My practice caters primarily to only the wealthiest of clients. For the past 15 years, the work I have done <sighs> has been a prime example of the aesthetic dental standard in Moscow. My clients have been more than satisfied with, qual with the quality of work I am able to give them and are pleased with the metals I use in my crowns, the, s the stability of my bridge work, and the cleanliness of my porcelains. Of this, you must have already been aware. However, in recent months, of a group of clients have been come dissatisfied with the appearance of the materials. They say to me, Dr. Gregory, there is no doubt to the quality of your work. We feel only as if you have been held back by the quality of the materials at your disposal. The composites and porcelains are beautiful, yes, but they are not perfect. We demand perfection. As you may understand, I have grown dismayed by this. I pride myself not only on the work itself, but also in the high value of the materials I use. Alas, I cannot but agree with my clients. Even if the porcelain is polished until it shines like the sun, it cannot match the true beauty of God's creation. I decided, then, that I must have what no doctor before me has ever attempted. I must have human teeth. The problem I immediately ran into is the availability of such. There are, are many impoverished in the streets of Moscow who would gladly give their teeth for the soles of my shoes, or a bowl of gruel, but their teeth will not do. Often they are extensively decayed, misshapen, or broken in some way. They are human teeth, yes, but they are not what my clients desired. So I turn now to you, Dimitri. As, uh, turn, so I turn now to you. Dimitri has told me about your endeavors, about the miracles you have been able to create within your laboratory. There's no sum that is not available for, to me for this, but time is of the essence. I worry that my clients may soon seek out other professionals who claim to do the same as I. Obviously, that is impossible. But to the layman, who is to say? I await your return letter. I need teeth, Yelkov. I pray you will be able to deliver them to me. All the best, Gregory. Oh, that's why it was made. Bruh. Just, just bruh. So, what do we think about this SCP? Does it mention whether or not we have this contained? SCP-1994-1 is currently considered uncontained. Uh, fucking hell. I... I... Yeah, they're, they're constantly having... Uh, MTF, like, search the city, uh, all of Russia for any outbreaks. I'd say city. Yeah. Based upon the way that the MTF have to go about this. Yeah, because it looks like in special containment procedures, they have to wear hazmat suits. Yeah, like... Uh, it's airborne, but if it's like powder, then it's much less. It I I would imagine that it's less capable of spreading. Yeah. Than something smaller. At the same time, hell if I know, I'm I'm not a I'm not a teeth doctor. Teeth powder doctor. I don't yeah. know. All right. So hatchet, I want you to entertain the. Sh oh wait, never mind. I didn't realize what time it was. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Entertain the stream with what? More more me lamenting the existence of teeth in our eyes? <laughs> Alright, well that would be the end of stream then. So, uh... Fulcrum, any last words? Go. 
Hello, yes, I am Diablo. My main reason to exist is to be Diablo. Yeah. There is one good thing about the Twitch payment, though. Instead of $50, it was $109. Nice. So, yeah. Wait, since when have you been making that much money on Twitch? Bookworm. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> You're not even going to deny it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Hatch, if you want to see something, look in, uh, look in, uh, X rated. Do I want to see too. something? Is the question. It's, it's, what it's from another the story, right, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what are you making me look at, Eterna? I don't know. I. I saw it, so now you have to see it. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, oh, wait. The bookworm can't see it, so I'm going to send it to bookworm. But Jabussy. Blister Ursi. Look at the bottom right. Look, look at the bottom left. I was about to read that. Hobbit Futussy. Shinussy and Clussy. Urethrusy. <laughs> Urethrusy. Low rise 90s jeans. Shinussy. It's dripping down your legacy. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did, you, did you see the. Follow Bright and turn on notifications uh, so you can be alerted when her Subathon one. shows up. If you can, the, give her all of your money. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sorry. Uh, Alright, you want to hear Bookworm's last words? Alright, Bookworm's last words was follow Bright and turn on notifications so you can be alerted when her subathon shows up. If you can, give her all of your money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Bookworm. Oh my god. Let's turn our last words go. <laughs> Regret. Full leg tattoo. Nightclub stamp. See. Athletes foot to see. Deep thrusty. <laughs> Bice pussy. Bice pussy. All right. Anyway, ad during our last words, go. Pinky Ussy! <laughs> Hand Ussy and Pinky Ussy! Book was just confused, because I don't think they saw my DM yet. Six Pack Ussy! <laughs> Rib Ussy! <laughs> Boob Ussy! <laughs> oh, you see it, okay. Boob Ussy! Ah! My cat! I, I was bent over! Reading this, and my cat put his paws on my back. It startled uh, me. Anyway, Adurna, last words go. <laughs> oh, do you, do you do you see the one right under Ribusty? Ribusty. <laughs> anyway, Adurna, oh my what's your last words? <laughs> Pussy. What? What's your last words, Adarna? Um. Okay. Okay. Uh. Follow bright. Subscribe. Watch out for the b chronic back pain, I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, uh, Hatchet, your turn. What's your last words? Do it. My beloved butt that's buddy. The, that's not the way you're supposed to say it. <laughs> I know. Hatchet, last words, go. 
And remember, kids, all you really need in life is one, a football stadium. Two, a smaller football stadium. <laughs> Three, crinkle cut fries from the football stadium. <laughs> Four, a cat living in the football station. <laughs> Stadium. Five. Another football stadium. Six. How long is this gonna go? Six. A burger acquired at the football stadium. Seven. A baseball bat acquired at the football stadium. Why would there be a baseball bat for the football stadium? Hey, Michael Jackson's corp. Oh my Wired. god. <laughs> Nine. A life size model of John Cena. Acquired oh, at the <laughs> Cena. I'm, I'm kind Dang of delirious. Cena. A life sized model of John Cena acquired at the football stadium. <laughs> Donald Trump acquired at Mar-a-Lago. That's it. That's oh all you need. Oh yeah. my gosh, you you missed a perfect chance to say athlete athletes pussy acquired at the football stadium. I'm not say I'm not saying that. <laughs> oh I'm not. <laughs> also, uh everyone ready for my last oh. words? Uh it's from an amazing medical site called WebMD. The fuck is WebMD? Uh, you're about to find out how great are they. Alright, what activities... I'm not asking how great are they, I'm asking what they are. It's a, I just said it, it's a medical site. An actual medical site, or are you being a, a turd? Yes and no. Uh... Anyway. Okay, so, so being a turd and like, okay... Yeah. Also, right. all right. What activities cause prostate cancer? The following oh. are associated with an increased risk of advanced prostate cancer: height, high body mass index, low physical activity, smoking, low tomato sauce consumption, high calcium intake, high linoleic acid intake, African American race, and a positive family history. That actually is on WebMD. African American race. <laughs> yes. So Africans <laughs> living in Africa are fine. It's just African Americans. <laughs> what? Yeah, WebMD is but known for really bad info or in misleading info as both from states they're uh, notorious for it <laughs> that's why african, <laughs> african american race <laughs> fucking the, hell the last part was a positive family history <laughs> like that's the most legitimate th that's that's the that's the only one at this point i'm trusting after they said African American race. What about low tomato consumption? <laughs> low tomato. <laughs> I... <laughs> you must have tomatoes or your prostate will get a tumor. Yeah, as Borkram states from WebMD, have some weird symptoms, must be cancer. They they do that. <laughs> if you you have a headache, it must be cancer. I've had cancer all my life then. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I just thought to share that. My snake cat is being a turd, but I love him. Yeah. Anyway, D class, I hope you enjoy. I'm not. God damn it, I'm so used to that. D class. All right. Oh, yeah, I think you said D class when you showed up, too. God damn it. Start. I'm so used to saying that. I got 
got to get used to my new follower thing. All right, more eels according to you. <laughs> no. All right, Danger Noodles. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you fellow agents next time for when we go raid this the foundation. <laughs>